All right, all right, all right. How in the hell is everybody doing? That was a nice little break we had. Hey, Nate, how you doing, buddy? He says, full roster, we got to win. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. Right off the bat, reality check, right? <laughs> how you guys doing? All right, so we got, we, we got, we got no room for error. Absolutely zero, zilch, nada, room for error. You want, you want to convince me that this team is going to be anything other than a schlub? Just win these three games. Three games and four nights, boom. Just win them. Hey, Danny, yeah, it's a, it's a uh, sold out, yeah, because Montreal. Yep, 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 yep. Nate saying 6-2. Hmm. How about 6-3? <laughs> How about 6-3, man? Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen, but, you know. Hey, Bubba, how you doing, huh? <laughs> yeah, the French people here. Yeah, there's a lot of French people there. You're scared. <laughs> oh, well, look. Hey, Richard, how you doing, bud? Yep, we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Yep. Hey, Riley. How's everybody doing? This is good. It was a nice little break. It was just the right amount of time. You know, like summer's way too long. You know what I mean? I get out of I get out of the routine and, and you have to start the engines all the way up. Nice, what was it? Um it was about four or five nights off, right? Of course we had football in, in between there, so Hey, buddy, uh, whoever you are in Facebook, I don't know. I can't see your name. It just tells me Facebook user. It says, let's see this Anton, Anton kid light a spark. I hope you're correct. Um, they're not putting him with Barkov like Stu and I had hoped, which makes sense because he's a lefty. Um, people had told me that they thought he would go up top with Barkov, you know, in, in preseason and training camp and everything. Um, but he's going to play on Lundell's left wing so um Lundell with left chi and right heart if, if this kid can score that would that would be good that would be a good thing and then you've got um Colin White up top there with Barkoff he's he's doesn't belong in the top with Barkoff but we got nobody until Duke comes back so once Duke comes back Colin White they, they could wave him is is as far as I'm concerned. Your name is Adam, fairly new to the community. Well, I appreciate you joining us, bud. Yeah, with with Facebook, because I use um, Streamyard for whatever reason. There's 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 something I have to make a video so that people understand it. There's some way that you guys can give Facebook permission to show to access your account. Imagine that where. Um, Facebook is actually protecting protecting your identity and not giving information away, right? <laughs> Stu, yeah. Um, so I, I I was talking about that. He's a lefty, so I think the the, the oh I gotta mute this. I think the the point there, Stu, is that they didn't want to put him on the right because he's a lefty, so. Um, they're going to put Colin White on that spot, which he's just, he's just holding the water bottle until Duke comes back. You know what I mean? They're going to put him with Lundell. So look, if, if Lundell and, F and Lefty have, have good chemistry, I'm fine with that. Just the same, but obviously we had hoped he'd go with Barkov, but he's not going to take Verhage off of his wing. So I'm not sure what people were thinking during the preseason. You know, people were telling me he belonged up there with Barkov. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Nate says, I used to think used to think it was a bad idea that Bettman wanted to extend the playoff teams, but not anymore. Let's do it right now for the season so we can get that 12 spot. <laughs> yeah, right? No thanks. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Um, so so whoever it is that says what's up, Jaws, I'm gonna have to fix this because if anybody messages from Facebook, they won't tell me your name. They they I can see your comments. I wonder if I just 
if I go to my Facebook, let me just go to the group. It might just be easier if I just watch myself on the group. And let me see, if I go to the stream, um, where is it? It's not even up here yet. Let me see. Hold on a second, guys. I'm trying to see if I can solve this problem so I don't have to keep telling people. Um, there's the comments. Hey, Paul. All right, now I see. All right, so I'm going to try to leave this up so that when somebody contacts me from Facebook, I can see your name. It's a little bit frustrating there. All right. Hey, Jerry. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Stu says, lefty schmefty, put him with Barkov. <laughs> Trey, has anyone in hockey ever been a switch hitter? I mean, guys that are lefties, you know, they, they switch sides all the time like that. It's just not optimal, I guess, for a young kid, you know? So... Ah, I appreciate that, buddy. He says, that's cool. I'm riding with you. Not not for nothing, but I really enjoyed you and Stu with the reviews. I appreciate that. We 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 um we do our best. We're, we continue to improve. This is our second year doing those anyway. So hey Mike, how you doing, bud? Did I laugh? I don't know if I laughed at you. Huh? <laughs> as well as Darius Rucker is crying. Right, right, right. Riley, um, I made a video about it, buddy. You got to watch the video, The Miracle in Miami. I made a video about what, what Matthias got me. Bubba says, Jaws getting a shutout by Bubba Ruski for Christmas, right? <laughs> Trey says, no, I mean a hockey player that used both left and right-handed sticks. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't know. Um... I can throw I can throw with my left and right hand, but that's different. You know, it's easier to learn how to throw with both hands, but using it using the left and right hand stick, that's a good question. Stu might know that. Uh Stu says, put him on left wing left for Hagee play right wing. Need to have left left G bond with Barkov. I don't I don't think it's gonna happen, brother brother Stu. I don't think it's coming. Oh, speaking of brother Stu, let me see what what yeah so flo that's probably correct he's probably gonna get a goal tonight right maybe both of the antons i gotta answer all right let's see if brother gene's coming let's get brother gene going hey brother gene you coming out to the stream question mark all right let's see Laughed at you when I said your Packers were gonna beat the Cowgirls too. Did they did they did they beat the Cowgirls? <laughs> How you doing, Raven? ZB Mono. Two is a righty who throws left and LeBron writes left but shoots right. Oh, two is actually a righty? Is that I did not know that. You would have thought that that would have been something that was more advertised. Hey, Kyle, where are you, bud? I got in. You got a what? You got to eat. You got you got five minutes to eat. You waited all this time, and now what? I'm gonna get no dinner. You feel free to grab one of the biscuits. Let 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 Fluffy in, please. She's probably there. Yes, Mahura and Gudis is back. Raven, yeah, I know, I know. To a, to a, no, I, I can't imagine a doctor would, would clear him to come back, right? <laughs> yeah, if he just wants to stay out there, that's fine. All right, so B Stu says, Bubba. We just call him Bubba. Yeah, yeah, Mahura and Gudis top five. Top five, top ten, something like that. ZB, surprised you never knew that too as a righty, but his dad wanted him to be a lefty like him, and I guess it worked out. Yeah, I never I never heard it. I've never heard it mentioned once, you know. Interesting. Never heard that. But, you know, maybe I did and I just don't remember. But it's like, there's Ekblad. They got Ekblad out there on the ice. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he can, he can... 
you know, skate. So Raven says, so Boston beat New Jersey twice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Eastern Conference Finals is looking like Boston and the Canes, right? I mean, anybody want to place a bet otherwise? The only way that that doesn't happen is if is if Vasilevsky absolutely loses his mind, Shesterkin. But most likely you're looking at Boston Boston and the Canes. Hey, Matthew Gene, how you doing, bud? Puck drop is in 18, well, about 20 minutes. Yeah, about 20, 25 minutes, exactly. So as soon as Kyle's done eating his, his dinner, I can get my dinner time going on, you know. So how was everybody's Christmas, though? I mean, I saw some of you Christmas Day, but how did, how did everybody do? Did anybody get anything, uh, you know, anybody get a brand new pickup truck? Like the commercial shows that the guy buys the girl a puppy and she buys him a Ford brand new pickup truck. Anybody have any exchanges like that? I'm just saying, you know, I didn't get a puppy or a truck. But if you watch that video, if you haven't watched the video about the Miami Miracle Christmas gift, um, it's 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 the video is really about what Matthias got me. It's not really so much about the football. So if if you didn't watch it because of the football stuff, that's it's it's not really the point. It's what he did was was fantastic for me. Oh, your wife got you a retro jersey and sweatshirt. Yeah, speaking of which, where's my reverse retro? This must be Brother Stu. No, nope. that's Brother Gene. Oh, okay. We'll make it work, Stu. Mike says Canadians four Panthers two. Yeah, that's not. That's that's not um. That's it's not a reach. That's not a hot take. <laughs> Kevin says Panthers retro knit hat for Christmas. Ooh, nice. Is it like the white one that I have? Is it like the white one? Your wife got you a retro jersey and a sweatshirt. Nice. Yeah, you're supposed to get snow and so forth. Yeah, we only we had we had five minutes of snow. It was it was right as we were taking the dogs to the beach. <laughs> Tim says Trey Ekblad. Quick, while he's healthy, right? Oh, Bubba, you got your first Panthers jersey for Christmas. That's nice. There's Lefty. They got he's number seventy six. That's a good sign in warm up in warm ups. He shot. Hey, did anybody see that? I saw it on Twitter. Did you guys see that breakaway that Huberto had? And instead of shooting, he back passed it. Did anybody see that? It was hysterical. Sue says, I like one of those reverse retro jerseys or caps. Yeah, Brother Gene's supposed to have sent one. But uh, I don't know if he's alive or not. I haven't heard from him in a couple of days. All right, Stu, go get, go get yourself some food. ankles I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't tell you anything about that brother that that must not be something that I that I heard about or um, paid attention to what happened oh geez like anybody yeah I'll believe that I'll believe that when it's you know They get everybody with stuff, right? Holy crap, Nate! Oh my God, Kyle! Wow! Oh my gosh! Nate Tobin, a hundred dollars! Whoa! He says, Merry Christmas. Thanks for still keeping things entertaining when the team is not so entertaining. Last place, let's go. Wow, man, hat is off. The hat is off. Thank you, brother. Holy crap. Thank you, man. Seriously. That 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 means a whole hell of a lot to both of us here, man. 
That's that's the stuff that pays the bills. I ain't even gonna lie. Holy crap, dude! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh man, that that you made my year, and it's not even 2023 yet. Holy crap! Yeah, Bubba says at this point I can take the rest of the night off. Kyle, are you ready, man? I I do need to eat. Huh? Okay, he's going to be on his way here. I'm going to leave that up until the game starts. Holy crap. Nate gave us 100 bucks, man. That's awesome. Thank you, Nate. That is unbelievable. Holy crap. Hey, Chris. How you doing, buddy? Ping pong. Get, ping pong. Ping pong ball game tonight. Exactly. <laughs> Last place. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Bubba, right? You're pretty. You're feeling pretty sore right now. Might have to give up four or five. Four Golski. Yeah, we need five. We need five anytime Bubba's in, right? You were playing well, though, man. You know, the biggest concern is when do we put Knight back out there? You either got to put him back out there. You would assume he's going to play tomorrow because it's back-to-back -back and a road trip, right? So you assume. So so poor Spencer Knight, after getting sick, his his he gets to come back on the road against the Bruins and then on the road against the Canes. Um, you, the kid's going to start wondering what the hell he did, right? Yeah, night tomorrow. Exactly, Nerf. Oh, poor kid. Jeez. All right, Kyle, you ready? I can go eat? Yeah. All right, I'm going to just leave Nate, leave Nate's up there. Thanks again, Nate. We'll see you in a little bit. Um, Knight did shut out Carolina. That's a good point. Carolina wasn't playing that well back then, though. Now they're they're obviously smoking hot. Um, it's tough because we always need, you know, you need to see your goalie get into a groove, man. So that's that's going to be a rough, rough night. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go eat my dinner. I'll be back with Puck Drop 10 minutes. All right, Kyle, you good? All right, get yeah. in, get in there, buddy. I'll be right back, Kelly. Thank you so much, Nate. That's awesome of you. Really, it's awesome of you to to do that. Sergey says, we want 10. We want 10. Mm. I just saw on the TV the Florida Panther, the, I guess, in Pantherland, they must be selling a reverse retro inspired beanie with the FLA Sun logo and the colors of the reverse retro. It, it looks pretty awesome. Hi, Riley. How are y'all doing tonight? How was everyone's Christmas? My Christmas was pretty good. I got a bunch of... Okay. I got a bunch of books... Books and movies, and in particular, I got myself. Well, well, my for Christmas one of my mom's presents was new art supplies because I actually draw. And and yeah, I I got myself a couple of books to read. If any of you know about the Pogo comic strip, I got the second volume in the complete syndicated series. So it's finally, it's the end of Christmas, the Christmas break tonight, and we have to go play against Montreal. So, can anyone, 
You got Capcom Fighting Collection, a pink Power Ranger helmet, and an HL23. Well, that's awesome. I got a book about Disney's Animal Kingdom. I got a little box with a piece of petrified wood, an arrowhead, and a half, half an ammonite shell. I also got a ton of candy. Like, you should see my uh, dresser drawer is just filled with, like, Reese's and Snickers and Three Musketeers and Thin Mint Chocolates and Raspberry Jaffa Cakes. If you've never had a Jaffa Cake, I am not responsible for the crippling addiction that you will have if you try... Jaffa Cakes. Oh. Can the Florida Panthers pull out pull out a win tonight and get two points? Mono best Disney movie in my opinion. Stanley Panther says, my tip, Florida 5 to Montreal. But no, that is a, that is a good question. It's... It's very, very close. If you were to ask me what my... What the best Walt Disney animated film was, I would probably say The Lion King. But if you were to ask me what's the best Disney movie, I I might say Mary Poppins. Riley says Florida Five, Montreal Zero. So we're going to shut out Montreal 5 to nothing, eh, Riley? That's that's a hell of a prediction. <laughs> Last base, let's go. Yeah, that's that's what Nate said and he he's probably right. We are only one overtime loss better than this team. In other words, we only have, we are one point, we are one point above this, this team, the Canadians. Ugh. Well, you can't, can the Panthers, can the Panthers be good again, please? I watched, no, I read the NHL Power Rankings that they made around Christmas where they presented it in the style of a list to Santo talking about what every team would want for Christmas. And the Florida Panthers' wish was for cap space. Yeah, like last season. The Montreal Canadiens have a 13.6 power play percentage, which is good for dead last in the NHL. <laughs> they are somehow worse than us significant by a significant margin on the power play. Hey, Rosado, what's up? <laughs> how was how was your Christmas, Rosado? Are you looking 
forward to maybe, maybe the Florida Panthers not embarrassing themselves again. Are there any games with the, left with the reverse retros? Yep, Florida is 15, 16, and 4, and Montreal is 15, 17, and 3. Yeah, I hope we get Dr. Jekyll tonight. Oh my, please don't say that. New Year's Day, we wear the reverse retro versus the Rangers. Thank you. Stanley Panther, the the Florida Panthers are literally one point above the Canadians in the standings. We have a chance to make that three points ahead. Let's see, a... A regulation win would mean the Florida Panthers would be three points ahead of the Canadians. Let's see. A... Riley says, hopefully you'll get pro wrestling training soon. Now that, I hope you do. Waco says, does Lovetchi score? That's a good question. I don't know. Panthers been waiting for this W. That that would it would be nice if we if we get a win. I'm looking forward to hope hopefully we can do it. Could we do it and get a win, Dad? <laughs> Well, the Panthers can pass the Canadians, but we're one point ahead of them. So if the Panthers, if the Panthers win in regulation, if the Panthers win in regulation, we'll be a point ahead. I mean, excuse me. If the Panthers win in regulation. Florida uses player goal horns. Yeah, hopefully Levici scores. I don't know if the Panthers are 30 points behind Boston yet, Mike. If we win in regulation against Montreal, then we'll be three points ahead of them. If we win in overtime... Let's see. We'll be we'll be two points ahead of them. If we lose in overtime, if we lose in overtime, I believe that means we will be tied with them. And if they if they beat us in regulation, we will we'll be the ones down by a point to them. If, yeah. Let's go pen first, indeed. Boston has Boston has fifty seven, and we have forty two, thirty two. 32, 4 is 30, 36. So we're down, tw we're down 21 points to Boston. Mike says Montreal 7, Panthers 1. Oh, my dad wouldn't survive that, that kind of game.
Let's see. Barkov in 25 games has had 6 goals, 16 assists for a total of 22 points. And his average time on the ice is 21 and a half minutes. Let's go Panthers. Let's go. Is Radko Gudas back? Is Radko Gudas back tonight? Ice of Night says yes. Okay. Back in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead and get the piano ready. Let's see. First period has not quite started yet. Those lightning uniforms are the ugliest you've ever seen. Oh. Tampa really had some. Tampa really had the balls to, to bring back that uniform. Excuse me. Don't worry, Fluffy. Daddy's going to be back downstairs. So if there's... If there's one thing the Florida Panthers are good at doing it's this season, it's being almost unpredictable. Isn't that right? The the Panthers are pretty much unpredictable from game to game. He needs his dinner. I gotta get his dinner. Hey Derek. I'm coming right back, Fluffy. So <laughs> So who are the current who are the current division winners in each of the uh, divisions for for hockey? I'm taking it that Boston has not gone anywhere from the, from top of the Atlantic and top of the entire East. Is Vegas is Vegas still winning their division? You're going to watch the Dallas Cowboys play. Let's see. What's my score prediction, Eyes of Night? How about uh, four, four to two Panthers? I'm hoping we are we are good enough to beat beat a squad at our own level. Vegas is first in the Pacific. Vegas is first in the Pacific. Still surprisingly. <laughs> Fluffy. Okay. All right, everything.
Everything good? It's yeah. It's quiet in here. I know. It's, you know, hockey's been off for like a week. There's not much to talk about. Vegas is twice as good as the Pins. Trey says five to three Habs. And Trey says that's an improvement. We usually lose five to two. Vegas has Panthers winning by minus one and a half goals. They stretched the line to minus two and a half and plus money. If we all seen the Let's Go Panthers song together... I think they could win 7-1. Tim Black says, if we are sellers, who goes? Uh, who, who wouldn't go? Because if we're... If we're if we end up selling, that would basically mean the team was being blown up. Is there a distinct distinction usually between selling pieces and blowing it up? Trey says Bennett. What we need to do is figure out what we're doing with with Gudis. We need to extend Gudis. Otherwise, He's the one that's fair game because he doesn't have a contract for next year. <laughs> All right. Um, Definitely want them to extend him. You're going to sit down? Yeah. Okay. I'll be back in just a, be back in just a minute. <laughs> oh, we got Montebleau. Montebleau. I want to get some more water. Okay, go ahead. We got, we're going up against Monty tonight. All right. Uh. Okay. Mm. All right, here we go. Let's go. Eyes, yeah, Monty's in that exactly. Hey, Jacob. Good girl. Hey, Nick. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Nick. Remind me to... I got to message you about something for next week. I, I meant to do it earlier, and then I got distracted or something. Hey, Bob makes the first save of the night. All right. Trey says, I think we can still sucker someone into taking Ekblad. Think of all the people that thought Weaker was good. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see Let's see what this version of Ekblad's going to be. You want to get up here? What you doing, Fluffy? You want to get up here? No, Jacob, he's... He, he's eating dinner, but he, he's watching. Come on, bud. All right, let's go, Panthers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. All right, you're gonna. What you doing, Fluffy? How do the Canadians already have a shot? The game just started. That's a minute in. It's a minute and ten seconds in. Hmm. Canadians enter the zone. And oh, the dude had a wide open shot, and whiffed. Fluffy, what? You're not getting this. Come on. Get up here. Come on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Reese's peanut butter cup. Thank you, Carl. You're welcome. Mm. All right. All right, Ellie. Settle down. Get in your bed, okay? Ellie, come on. 
Yeah, we're definitely going to have to rearrange this live stream room <clears throat> because the dogs do not let us do our job appropriately. Oh, that's right, Gretchen uh, Hoffman. Yeah. Come on, let's go, Fluffy. Get in there. Good boy. All right, good boy. You settle down. You settle down. Let's settle down. Stanley Panther. Yeah, no, dry sidle's good. Dry, dry sidle. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't kick him off our team. All right, fine. Let's go. 17.53 left in the first period. Faceoff is outside the zone. Canadians win. And let's play some hockey. So we are pretty much healthy with the exception of Duke. Hornquist obviously is is not out there, but in terms of how we're going to be this year, I don't I don't I don't suspect Hornquist is coming back this year. I think that ship for his safety has sailed. All right, that was Stahl with a shot. So they took a shot away from the Canadians. It was two shots. Now they only got one. <clears throat> hey, thanks, Nick. Jacob, I haven't been able to watch the last few games. Would you honestly say they give Deanna Sanko much of a chance to play? I wish they'd give our prospects more time to build chemistry. Uh, yeah. All right! There we go. That was a softie. Is that Barkov? I see Barkov smiling. Who got the goal? I was busy. I was busy reading the chat. And of course, I should be calling a game. <laughs> so this is Barkov's, what, game, first game back in... What ten? Did he? Did he I don't know it? if he missed ten. Maybe he's missed ten combined. So he wins the draw. It got deflected. Did that? Wait a minute. How's Barkov taking credit for that? There's the shot. Oh, oh it went off his knee. <laughs> <laughs> it went off his knee. <laughs> we'll take it. Hey, Cuban. Thank you, Cuban. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Oh, I got to change the banner. Thank you, Cuban. All right. Tonight's tonight. We turn things around. Anton will get the hat trick tonight. I'll take it. I'll take it. Call the game, please. Okay, so we push it into the zone. It gets cleared. We are on side. Montreal clears it out but loses the puck. And it's offsides. Okay. So real quick, real quick to the question that I was answering, um, Jacob, yes. Um, they didn't, I mean, Danisenko got some time. Stu and I really felt like he should have been able to stay up. But, you know, Maurice is not a big guy in, in terms of playing kids. So... I think, you know, they swapped left G for Deanna Sanko, but if we get to a point where we're definitely not making the playoffs, Deanna Sanko needs to come back up because he looked like he could develop into something. Can you turn off that heater? We don't need that on. We don't? Yeah, but how about two? Oh, oh it's... Oh, oh no. Kachuk. Kachuk had a... But he still has it in front, and now it's going over and... Oh. Uh, all right. I'll turn it away from you. Okay, thank you. All right, so 15.55 left. Poor Monty. Oh, we had a steal. That's Lundell. This looks good. All right, so that's it. We're going to win 12, 15 in a row. I, we're still going to win the cup. That's it. We're still winning the cup. Oh, no, the false hoop <laughs> is Kitsumi dad hole. Yeah, it's the, well, I had a, I had a, a biscuit. Bob, nice save. Yeah. I, I had a biscuit and a Reese's cup. So anything I say the rest of the night, I am not responsible for. Boston has 59 points. Yeah, don't look at the standings. Toronto at 50. 
Don't look at the standings. I'm looking at the standings. Don't look at the standings. Uh, Fluffy. He's a good boy. John John says we should easily get three or four behind Monty. Exactly. Is that right, Chris? Yeah. Somebody said the game was sold out tonight. All right. Let's put it this way. We're playing Montreal, and it's an important game in the standings. Yeah. That's why you should not look at the standings. I ate one of your biscuits, by the way. I saw that. I did not mind that you had one of those biscuits. <sighs> There's a hold up or a card, whatever it's called. Just hold up or two. Forsling! Forsling! Oh, man. Who are these guys in the red jerseys? And what have they done with the Panthers? Maybe it was the opposite way around. <laughs> Forsling at the line again. Maybe gets the Florida Panthers finally escaped from the aliens that abducted the team. Maybe. Stall again. Try to get it to Lomberg in front. Forsling is another shot. Oh, just put wide by Lomberg, Maybe I believe. Maybe it wasn't even aliens. Maybe the real Florida Panthers got lost in the Everglades and had to fight <laughs> alligators. Oh, and of course, Ekblad ruins it by losing the puck at the blue line, oh, no. leading to a two-on-one, and Forsling has to save his ass. If that doesn't summarize, <laughs> that doesn't summarize it exactly. <laughs> they saw my video eyes, right? All right. Montreal's got a little bit of possession here. Shots are 4-2. There's the shot. Nice save by Bubba. A little bit of a rebound, but Verhage clears it. Colin White tried to get to the puck. A little bit of minor interference there, but not call worthy. Good, good defensive play to make that play and not get called. Colin White with the miss There's pass for Hagee. He has it back in front. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. All right, Vegas so. has 50 points. TK Ekblad's signature dish. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that that's perfect. Perfectly put. <laughs> All right. Just before I went to commercial, I saw both of Panthers fan wearing a sweatshirt with the that's in the reverse retro color, just the powder blue with the uh -huh. with the the hockey stick and sun logo. Yeah. And sitting next to him is a Canadians fan wearing the twenty twenty two Canadians reverse retro jersey. Oh wow. Trying to get a hold of Brother Gene. I says, what would I do if I got a notification that Bill Zito followed me on Twitter? Hmm. Um. I would, I would, I would not do anything because at that point, anything I do is likely to make me look stupid. <laughs> so I, I would, I would wait it out. I would give it like a day, or maybe two, and then. Make about a 15-minute rant video and send it to him in a DM. <laughs> hey, Robin. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Robin has 10 bucks for us, Kyle. Says, thanks for keeping us entertained, even when the Panthers are not so entertaining. I appreciate that. Genuinely. It's um, it's it's good now, but, boy, those, if, if we don't make the playoffs, if we're out of the playoffs, the last 20, 30 games of the year are going to be challenging. But wait till you guys see what we got coming. Um, we're getting we're getting a test sponsorship from Manscaped. So we've got some interesting, you know, we ain't gonna do it the normal way. You know what I mean? The 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 way we're gonna be promoting it, um, it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good and fun. We'll put it that way. Thank you again, Robin. I was wondering what that package was. I think they sent us two by accident. Because they sent a package for me and one for you. But I opened up the one for me today. And and 
there's two sets in the box. So I think they sent for me and you, and then I think they said for me and you again. Well, I'll have to see. Right. Wait, there's a box for me? I could... Yeah, that box right there came today or yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Gudis almost... What are you doing, Gudis? Bennett's holding him back while Gudis pushes him. Yeah, that that's probably not real legal. Wait, guys, uh... What? Oh, I think he's asking how much. Oh, how much is the score? It's it's the Panthers one, Canadians nothing. Riley says Jake Null, Aaron, we're in we're in um Florida. <laughs> Riley. Uh, <laughs> they sent us a lot of stuff, man. They sent us the 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 stuff to trim the goods, the, the ear and the nose stuff. We got shirts. We got all sorts of products. I'm going to do an unboxing video just for it. We're going to have some fun with it. We're, they're giving us a, a, a trial of 30 days. If eight people buy stuff from them in 30 days, then they'll come back and and give us a paid sponsorship. Robin, yeah, Gudis, Gudis back is, is, that's a huge part. On this team. No <laughs> doubt. All right. 12.35 left in the first period. Face off in the Panther zone, which we win. Bubba gets it out to Gudis. Bennett gets it to center ice, and we're not playing dump and chase. That's interesting. Bennett brings the puck in, goes behind the net. There's a shot. Oh, and it's just wide. Just wide. You think Paul Maurice is realizing his act is wearing thinner than usual? Oh, and he no. has to change speeds around before he gets fired prematurely. Not sure. Of course, there was nobody there with Bennett. He would have only been dumping it and chasing it to himself. <laughs> Cuban with the manscape does the carpet match the drapes. Well, not exactly. It's not linoleum, you know what I mean? It's hard to keep a shag carpet clean. You know, it, it's, it's got to have a steam cleaner, good vacuum cleaner. All right, 11.15 left in the period. Uh-oh, Montreal has a shot or a chance in, sh in front. Let's see. There's a save by Bubba. Jacob says, wait, Tierney is in the lineup tonight. I thought he was on concussion protocol. Yeah, that's what I saw earlier, too. They said whatever the uh, an ac acronym is for that. He's in the lineup tonight? Cuban salt and pepper. Interesting. My shoulder hair got white. That's what's kicking my ass in terms of making me look. Now I now I look old with a tank. Well, I already looked old, but you know what I mean. I wear a tank top. Now I I gotta keep everything trimmed up top because the shoulder hair got white on me. Because I wear the tank tops and the sleeveless so much that it turns, you know, the sun lightened it and it just never went back to normal. Did Manscaped send a, uh, any uh, shampoo or conditioner? I got, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Nerfle says Tierney's still out with, yeah, with the upper body right in Dolpe Kirster to the scratches. Yeah, I didn't think Tierney was him. All right. See MZ, it. huh? Didn't even see you when you came in, buddy. Appreciate it, bud. All right, so we got 10:40 left in the in the first period. I got I get my football, I get it mixed up. Who's the dude in 44 for the for the Canadians? He's, <coughs> I know it's not Gabranson, but he's the same size and got the same number. Um, Are we I gonna have a fight here? I want to say 44 might be Evgeny Dadinov. No. 
Dadnoff's not that big. He's a defenseman anyway. Not Dadnoff. The guy on... Who's number 44? I got to start learning the names of the other team's players. Well, Kenny Dadnoff is a Canadian now. I just saw it in him. Oh, is that right? Well, I saw Dadanoff. I don't know if that's Evgeny Dadanoff, but I thought it was. He's part of the Canadians lineup. I got to really start learning the names and the numbers of the other teams because if the Panthers are not in the playoffs, all the streaming that we're going to do. Remember, I never, I never did playoff full streams, right? I did the pregame and then the recaps. So... To do the full games in the playoffs, I've got to I've got to know my stuff. I got to be able to at least know all the numbers and names. Oh, we got Montour oh. right in front. Nice pass and loose to Ryan, but couldn't make it go. We're gonna get another one. The puck is loose. We got a penalty. Hey, right, we're gonna go into power play. All right. All right. Thank you, Nerf. Four to four is Joel Edmondson. Edmondson, yeah. Yeah, Riley, I I know Vegas traded Dadnoff during the off season. Did he did he go to the Montreal, Riley? <laughs> Cuban. <laughs> yeah, you see there's the other box, Kyle. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do an unboxing video for that. But I don't wanna promote it too much just yet because the the discount code isn't active. So this is just pre-promotion. But the um, the intros for the recaps are going to be Manscaped commercials. But technically not. But tech, they're going to be, it's going to be fun. I got some ideas. It's going to be, it'll... Hopefully it'll it'll turn out the way I want and it'll, it'll work out and, and um, maybe people will buy stuff just to get me to shut up about it. <laughs> yeah, this is a pre-shave, right? <laughs> Jacob, if we get two points tonight, is it still Russell Sprouts two points? Um, no, we're giving him a we're 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 this is like the other guys now. It's a clean slate. It's a clean slate. Okay. You know, like Stu said, just don't even worry about the standings and the points and everything like that. I don't necessarily disagree because, oh, oh, damn, I got a message from Brother Gene. I'll tell you all in a second. Let me just respond. Anton Lefty, six foot zero, one eighty five pounds, age twenty seven. He's from Finland. So, brother Gene, his mom has COVID. Him and his girlfriend have that upper body respiratory thing that's going around, and the only one healthy is like his ninety something year old dad. Ooh, damn. All right, there was a go. Hey, hey, no shorthanded goals now. Come on, let's go. Who we got in the power play? Did we make any changes? That's Barkoff, Reinhardt. Oh, no. Ekblad's out there. Oh, I can hear. I can hear. Ekblad's running the power. Well, Montour's running it. Now, yeah, get Ekblad in the circle. Ekblad, get in the circle, you idiot. There's a shot by Barkoff. Kachuk tried to deflect it. Ekblad, get in the circle. Barkoff again. Montour. Ekblad. Montour, shot, white. Ekblad, get in that damn circle and stay in there. I'm going to fly down there and drag that kid where he belongs. He's too high. Get down low. Reinhardt, bark off. Yeah! yeah! All, right! All right. There we go. Holy crap. We scored two goals. I don't believe it. Yeah. That looked good. That looked good. All right. Barky on Hattie Wands. Barky on, yeah, I shaved my head, too. It's it's nice and... Fr I took a bath right before the stream. I mean, I went and I shaved my head. All right. What the hell is Ekblad doing on that side of the ice anyway? Ekblad, what are you doing? You almost you almost blocked the shot. I'm just giving Ekblad shit. Don't worry. I'm not being... Uh, 
I'm just being funny. All right, so it's 2 nothing, huh? Yeah. All right. Okay. Here comes the beginning of a 12-game winning streak. Oh, my gosh. We scored a freaking power play goal. I don't believe it. Wow. Who is this team? Maybe we were missing Barkov more than we thought, right? Well, I never said we weren't missing Barkov. It just, look, we were missing a lot. I mean, don't don't hand us the cup. Ooh. Just oh, geez, and we're going on a penalty kill. Good. You know, don't give us the cup just yet. But this is nice. Yeah, they're saying Barkov missed the last ten games. Wow. Now, by the way, um, at the end of the stream, when the game is not the end, of the stream, when the game is over, right before I go to do the recap. Kyle's still going to be here, but we're going to have a special guest. And depending on how you guys like it, guys and girls, depending on how you guys like it, guys and girls, I, I said it again, depending on how y'all like it, the special guest may show up more. So while, while I'm doing the recap for about 10, 15 minutes, there's going to be a special guest on the stream after the game. All right, so now we got to kill off this penalty or we completely blow all our momentum. So How about a shorty? How about a Lundell shorty? Lundell got the puck? That's not quite what I was thought. What happened now? Another penalty? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I'm not going to tell anybody. Is this an episode of Manifest? <laughs> what are they going to do? Get us for a high stick? Yeah, no, it was the puck. It wasn't his stick. Yeah, that's all puck, man. <laughs> So how will that special guest work? It's easy. They'll, I'll be here to, to to do it. But basically, they'll just show up right there. I'll, I'll show you how to click add stream. Yeah. It's easy peasy. Ah, Norfolk says Barkoff now has the most power play goals in franchise history. Oh, cool. Who who was who was who did he beat? Who did he beat? I had to think about that. Who would he, who would have? Mont or did he just pass Huberto? Montreal, worst power play this season, 10.2%. Oh, wow. Oh, Mellonby. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Nice hit. I stall. Hey, Dana, how you doing? Is it one of the annoying Panthers? No, it is not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh, Vinny Viola, wow. <laughs> All right, let's go. 651 left. In the period, it's two nothing Panthers. Shots are thirteen to six Panthers. We look good now. Just play forty more games like this, and the entirety of forty more. Yeah, games right. Like this. <laughs> they have to be specific. Yes, that's a good point. Specific and explicit. All right, so 33 seconds left on the power play. Panthers clear the puck again. Six behind Buffalo. How? But we're tied with Buffalo. Why are they ahead of us? Probably have games in hand. They probably have games in hand. Six in our own division. Yep. 
All right, Canadians enter in the zone. They've got a little time to get set up here with about six seconds left. They have an opportunity to take a shot. Oh! Oh, really? Really? What the hell happened here? Was Bob screen? Dude's right in front of him. Yep. Who's that? Who let him just stand there? I mean, we were on the power, you know, on the, on the kill, so. I mean, why are we just letting them stand there? That's stall, who usually doesn't allow that. All right, Kyle, fix the banner. That sucks. Let's that see. sucks. Arbor Zedkej is the only player in HL history with the last name starting with the letter. letter. Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oi. Gretchen All says, right. I hope this isn't the curse of the awesome first period and nothing for periods two right? and three. Well, you can't just let a guy stand right there in front of the goaltender. Jeez. Now you hear, well, they're yelling, let's go halves, aren't they? Uh-oh. Come on, guys. All right, here comes Bark off into the zone. Who's he got with him? Colin White. Where's Duclair? Hey, Dana, thank you for the super sticker. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. Put it up there on the, on the thing. I always like to put it up there for a minute. What, what is wrong with you, StreamYard? Why can't we see any of the stickers now? Well, you can see it on YouTube, but you can't see it on StreamYard. Ow! Jeez, what the hell's wrong with that shoulder? All right, so we're going to commercial. Express, yeah, it could happen, Barkoff Hattie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ugh. Anybody notice Left G at all yet so far tonight? Boy, why is my it's been a challenge? All right. So Kyle. So. What'd you get me for New Year's? What I get you for New Year's? Yeah, when are, when are we gonna when are we gonna clean the stuff, the garage, and all of that? It's the middle of winter, my dude. Oh wait, I gotta wait for spring. You got to at least wait until the temperatures are in the fifties for a few days. And it's not raining. And it's not raining. All right. All right. Oh, it hasn't been even warm enough to melt the ice completely. No, I know. We had a hell of a time at the river today. No storm see, we're winning two to one. Yeah, actually. I'll put the thing back up there. Oh, you got it right. You got it up there. <laughs> storm. Yeah, no, I just. They, we just let them score. Ah, uh, Fluffy. Right. We had a good time at the river today. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's frozen. I thought it had melted a little bit more than it was. It was it, it wasn't smart for me to take him out there, but everybody's okay and safe. Yep, there it is. Alexander Barkov, franchise leader in power play goals with 67. Gotcha. Scott Mellaby. Gosh, I can't I didn't realize Mellaby had that many. Dang. Jacob, 158 time on ice for left G. Great. Wonderful. That And he's on the third line. Third line has had least amount of time of any line tonight. That's Maurice, man. Thank you for that, Jacob. Last, Alexander Barkov, last six home games versus Montreal's. Nine goals, three assists, 12 points, and a plus six rating. Well. Mm.
All right, 448 left in the period. Let's see if we can get that two-goal lead back. We finally got to the point where we got the second goal. Colin White, bark off! Yeah! yeah! That's All right! right. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There you go. It's a hat trick, right? Wait a minute. Hat yeah, trick. you got hat a. Trick. That's right. Hat trick. That's right. You got a hat trick because the first one went off of his. Yeah, hat he trick. got a hat trick. Well, where am I going to throw it? Where am I? Throw it on the mic. Okay, I'm gonna come back over here. Holy crap! All right. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here, <laughs> and I'm gonna try to get it on the mic. So the mic is right there. So let's see if I can get it on the mic. <laughs> here we go. Alexander Bark. Are they looking at something? No, no they're, they're just watching the hats. Okay. All right, Barkov's hat trick in the first period. Let's 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 make it count. Make it count, Jaws. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I did it! I did it! Yeah. I did it! Congratulations! <laughs> I thought you were. I wanted. I did it. <laughs> All right! I did it! There go all the hats. I don't believe it! <laughs> uh oh, I just lost my phone in the couch. Oh man. To be honest, I thought you were going to throw the hat straight into the camera. <laughs> I, I know. Up. All right, now I gotta find my phone. Congratulations! Oh no. There's a. There's. Oh. And that sucker went down there too. Oh no. Is it just underneath? Oh man. That's not good. The luck gods let you throw the hat on yeah. the mic, but it yeah. came and at a price. Oh, wait, I got it. I got it. <sighs> okay, I got it. Woohoo! Oh, that's gonna be a clip. I can't believe it. Yeah. Change change the banner. Yeah, thanks. All right. They called a penalty on Musta Reinen. For what? Double wow. a double minor. Hattie in the first period. I can't believe I nailed it. I nailed the throw. Yeah, congratulations. That's good. That I, I finally get to clip something good. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Uh, he hit him. Uh, God damn it, Lou. Oh, jeez, I see. Damn it. So now they got a four-minute rest of the period. They're on a power play. Well, unless they score a bit. High sticky, a double minor. Let's kill it off, boys. Come on, Bubba. You got a hat trick in the freaking first period. All right, nice save, Bubba. A he had a hat trick in the first period. A hat trick in the first period. I don't believe it. Welcome back, Barkov. Yeah, welcome back, Barkov. Jeez. Never get injured again. All right. Please. This team is useless without you. Like, .300 without you. Barkov is going to continue his absolute and other domination of the, of the team of the right? of the Canadians. In home games. All right. This is one way to start the game. Now let's kill a damn penalty. How about a Lundell shorty? All right, so that's one hat trick out of the way. Who's next? <clears throat> Lundell. Jacob, you think Barkov has Monty's number? That's a good point. Good point. It was a nice play by Colin White. Got him the fuck right in front. All right, don't let him do anything stupid here. Nice save by Bob. A little bit of rebound. Montreal set back up. There's going to be another shot wide. Saved at the line. 
Oh, almost an opportunity for Reinhardt to go shorthanded. Ekblad Forsling's out there again. Montreal with possession Two again. Canadian front of the nice save by Bubba. Two Canadians were allowed to camp right in front of Bob again. I was worried he was going to get screened. No, that's that's correct, Nerfo. Exactly. Yeah, they got two guys just right in front of Bob, man. Steel. Barkov is going <laughs> after it. Oh, I said, oh, come on, Lundell, get the get the shorty. Yeah, he just killed some time there. That's good. Jacob, I agree with you that we can't be letting all these guys just hang out in front of the net. There we go. Well, one of the miners oh. has already been killed. All right, so we're down to a buck thirty-nine left in the in the second penalty. Mm. Hmm. Excuse me. That poor official's like, I just want to leave this. <laughs> right? Montreal, possession in the zone. You're still letting that guy stand right in front of Bob. Come on, guys. I wonder if... Oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay. okay. We're really letting Montreal have their way here on the power play. Nice save, nice stop by Forsling. They still have possession. Locked away. Still 36 seconds left. Round the clock and go. Oh boy. Dude, that sh looks like a shot right into to Reinhardt. All right, last minute of play. 24 seconds left in the power play. Ekblad cannot get to the puck. Montreal still has possession. Stop leaving Canadians right in front uh -oh, of the uh -oh. net. <sighs> Keep leaving guys right in front of Bob. Could you stop, please? <sighs> Literally everything else is going fine for us except crease defense. Jeez. I already got a lift again. So what the hell happened here? Guy in front of net. Guy in guy front of net. And we're just letting them hang out right in front of the net, man. <sighs> Giving up a power play goal to the worst power oh, play you did geez. in the league. Does not, does not feel good. Could you, could the Panthers remember how to defend the crease? Don't waste a bark of Patrick, please. Now they've got possession again. They're trying to tie the game for the end of the period. All right, Frank. they lost it at the blue line. Jeez. Smoke Dog says, Y'all thought you won the Sam Reinhardt trade. How, how did we not? Uh, all right, that's going to be the end of the period. Jaws has officially lifted weights 122 times this <laughs> season. <laughs> all right. Because it's so cold. All right, Kyle, fix the banner and, and okay. do your thing. I gotta go do the recap. <clears throat> All right, so 3 2 after 1. I don't think anybody anticipated that. Yeah. All right. 
Goalies not having good nights tonight. Yeah, right? Jeez. They're gold hats. Unbelievable. Alright, I'll mute it. Good boy, buddy. Stay there. Alright, I'll be right back. It's not Bob's fault, Rosado. Not when the Panthers are letting Canadians camp out right in front of Bob. Excuse me. YouTube trash says crazy to me how they have the two defenders so far away from the goal. Let's see. Matthew Matthew Owen says, Hey guys, how are you doing? Doing good. Doing good, Matthew. Hey Jacob, I wonder if you're factoring in the couple of goals the couple of times recently where my dad made me lift the weights instead. Andrew, we gave up a goal right at the end of a power play because a, a Canadian was kept right in front of the net and screened, screened Bubba. Then Barkov got his hat trick of the he Barkov got his hat trick in the first period, and then we gave up a power play goal on the four minute double minor because we let. A Canadian camp out in front of the net. And in front of Bob. Ekblad is on ice for the first two. So yeah. I'd hate to be the, anyone who bets on the under for goals in this game. Jacob says you also got to take into account the goals that you guys lifted for, but the goal calls got reversed. Good evening, Rorman. How are you? Uh, how was how was your Christmas? <laughs> Oli says Josh Anderson, baby. Florida's had fifteen shots and Montreal's had fourteen. Henderson owns Bobrovsky. Well, the goalie in that for the Canadians tonight is Montembeau. So, Barkov got a hat trick in the first period. Congratulations, Barkov. If I was wearing the hat, it would be thrown onto the mic, too. Yes, Roman, we, we had a wonderful holiday season. Still got the tree up. It'll be up till about New Year's Day. 
One of the goals that Barkov scored was a power play goal as well, which means Barkov now is the franchise leader for power play goals at 67, just ahead of who was it? Um, can't can't remember. <laughs> He's the franchise leader for power play goals with one of the goals in his hat trick. Now it'd be nice if the Panthers defense would stop leaving Canadians players Canadians players right in front of Bob unopposed. Yep, shot of Barkov Hattie. The first goal was actually a shot from Forslead that deflected off of Barkov's knee area. Let's see. Barkov last five home games versus Montreal. Seven goals and ten points. Oli says, not going to lie, but Aaron Ekblad doesn't look good in any way, shape, or form. Riley, you love your ducks. Are you the one who actually has ducks? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure you're not saying you're an Anaheim Ducks fan, you're saying you love your actual ducks. Let's see. Three goals in 15 minutes and 22 seconds. Fastest hat track, ha fastest hat trick to start a game in franchise history tonight. Three goals in 15 minutes and 22 seconds. Hey, ghost. What's up? You missed a hell of a first period. Barkov has a hat trick. And he, and he now has the franchise record for power play goals. Yeah, you have actual ducks. <laughs> congratulations on... Congratulations on Barkov. Jacob says, Anton Lecce didn't even have more than two minutes in that first period. Did you hear that? What? Lecce didn't even have more than two minutes in that no. period. That's Paul Noyes. Wi-Fi scored. Which which one is which Canadians player is that Wi Fi? Wi Fi? I don't know. One of the Canadians players who scored was the only player in NHL history whose last name starts with an X. Oh. And that's the one that's the one that Ghost was talking to. He's talking about that player whose last name starts with an X. <laughs> Jay, yeah, we we sorely missed Barkov. Bar if there's one team that Barkov seems to completely and utterly own. Like slaves, it's 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 the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, the first the first in NHL history. What's his nationality? 
I don't know what, where a person would live where their last name starts with an X. Barkoff owns Toronto too. I wish I was in Disney Springs, Rosado. Ovi scored. He's Canadian. Look at all the AHL players that have been called up. They seem to average around five minutes per game. Born in Hamilton, Canada. February 3rd and 4th is apparently the, the All-Star game. Hmm. With his roots are Zek. Okay, well that makes sense. So. So I'd say the main takeaways from this first period are... Barkov is going to lead us to glory and and somebody cover the crease, please. All he says, Shane Gostisbehar gonna own the Maple Leafs tonight. I mean, I know much of it has to. So. Lev Chi is 27. And it, this is his NHL debut tonight, right? It's the first game he's ever played at a professional level? Yeah. Good for him. The Montreal Canadiens, one for three on the power play. For the Panthers, one for one on the power play. So we're still doing better than them. Shane Gossespierre should come to the Panthers. February 17th, 2019, Alexander Barkov records his second career hat trick with a goal in each of three periods against Montreal. So now, exit. <laughs> Exact, exact, exact. So now, exact has made it possible to name one NHL player by last name for each letter in the alphabet. How do you, on earth do you pronounce that name? <laughs> I'll just call him X. Ghost says, I so badly want to call Jaws and tell you how to pronounce it. Oli says, Jack Eye. I thought it was Zek Eye. As in Zek, as in Zek, Zeklosovakia. That, that would make more sense to me. Or Sigaj. <laughs> However, his name is Albanian. Albanian. 
Anytime the game wanted to start up, it would be nice. Eyes of Night says, just think how good we'd be if we could play defense. Right? Not even, the, the problem is not even our defense in general. It's that no one is covering the crease. Bad Bull says, I'm really excited for this Florida Panthers squad. Moving forward, they could shock the Hurricanes tomorrow. Strong Mix at 2 nothing Capitals. <laughs> Skinner also makes it 2 nothing Buffalo. So, it's only about a month and a few days until the All-Star break, which is usually the point where every team's playoff hopes are more accurately assessed. Oh, he says Jeff Skinner is an ass. Whew. Random question. How are the Minnesota Wilds doing? And I have to assume that Zach Parise and... And Suter are both still there. Okay. Let's see, Jeff Skinner attacked Jake Wenzel for nothing. Ghost says he just sent you a voice message. Okay. Next time I get up, it's how to pronounce the name of that player okay. whose last name starts with X. Oh, is that what he said? Yeah. Shikai. The period has started. Oh, did? Okay. I'll, let me fix the banner for you. Thank you. Markov's going to have to get another hat trick. Why? Because he's a good boy. Gorsling shot. Nothing. Save. All right, Fluffy, come on. You want to get up here? You getting up there? No? Okay, baby. Good boy. Daddy's got to sit down and work now. I'm going to fix the tree. Oh, you were going to get more. You're going to get more peanut butter cups. Is that what you said? That's what I thought I heard you say. I'm confused. Well, all right, Ellie, stay over there, baby. You gotta take your bed, bud. All right. All right, good girl. All right, what do we got? Because we, she was all excited that we were going to the river, so she basically just rammed her ass into the tree. Come on, get up here, Fluffy. One, two, three. Come on, you can do it. Good boy. All right, good boy. Huh? All right. Mm, that's a good boy. All right, let's go, guys. I can't believe Barkoff got a hat trick in the first period, and we're... Yeah, I were one bad play away from the game being tied. Oh, jeez. Let's go, guys.
Oh yeah, I see Dad in office there. All right, all right. You doing good? Yeah. Straw makes it two nothing. Capitals. Skinner makes it two nothing. Buffalo. That's the thing, man. We could win games, but we're chasing so many teams. It's absurd. Just keep winning. How about win one? Then we can keep winning. Gallagher just will not give up the puck. Bennett gives him a little shove, keeps the puck, dishes it off. Montreal is going to tie this game. They, 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 they come out here in the second period. They're going to tie this game. You can see it. And that's offsides. All right. Hey, Mad Ball. Charlie, yeah, yeah, we'll see if it'll last. We are not a good second period hockey team. You know, it's 3-2. It looks all great, guys, but this is pretty much just like the the, the, the times that we get that one nothing lead in the first period and then we give up two in the second. We still just got a one-goal lead. We just, we just have a, a bad habit of just not skating in the second period. Gudis with a long pass to Lundell who gets pickpocketed. Or Damn it. peanut butter cups. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I agree. All right, here come the Panthers into the zone. Everybody is moving now. Dumped and chased. Lefty with a nice steal. Tries to get the puck for himself. Reinhardt, Lundell, all three guys are right there along the boards, and the puck comes out. And here come the Canadians into the zone. Interesting. Gudis with Forslund. Huh. Uh oh. Here comes Montreal. Oh, geez. Shot just wide. Either that or Bob sticked it wide. Forsling with Gudis on the ice right now. Whether or not that's a change they made or just. Save one for the okay. third period. Yes. <laughs> oh. Chris says, <laughs> that sucks. How is Buffalo beating Detroit two to nothing? Now Ekblad's out there. Is he? Oh, did he make the play? Hey, good play, Ekblad. Good job. Good job, Ekki. Well done. Oh, oh, Lomberg tried to get the pass out. Right in fall for its. Uh, geez, let me eat my candy. Chris says, even when he makes a good play, he sucks. Who's he out there with now? Where's the other defenseman? Ekblad with Montour. That's interesting. I wonder if they broke up Ekblad and Forsling because they were responsible for that last power play goal together. All right, so we're going to get a power play. That's good. It's a good start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Plus the goalie. Technically eight. Too many men. That's too many men, all right. He's a good boy, Fluffy, huh? Fluffy's right here. Right there. 
We need a fluffy cam. All right, let's make this count. So we got Barkoff, Kachuk, who's been awfully quiet, Ekblad, Reinhardt, and Forsling. Excuse me, Montour, not Forsling. I saw the two. Barkoff. Oh, got it to Kachuk at the side of the net. Couldn't quite get it to go. Ah, Jake says, what the hell? The Oompa Loompa is one of the coaches from Montreal. <laughs> Yo, know, I was wondering what he reminded me of. Now I know. Good call, Jake. Oh. All right, 15 15 left in the period. Buck 52 left on the power play. Barkoff wins the faceoff, gets it back to Montour, over to Ekblad. Back over to Montour. Now Ekblad up high, or excuse me, Barkoff up high. Over to Ekblad. Moving in, back to Montour, back to Barkoff, off to the side. Nice save by Montour at the line. He shoots it. Deflected. Kachuk. Oh! Kachuk just took either a, a glove or a stick or something to the face. That didn't look right. Kachuk behind the net. Gets to Ekblad. Oh. Can't make it go. Ellie, sweetheart. I'm sorry, baby. No, you can't get up here, Ellie. You gotta lay down in your bed. Oh, gets. Oh, Ekblad had a shot and he passed it. He was right in perfect shooting position. Montour right in front. Come on, Kachuk! Get it out to Barkov. No! Ugh. Here comes the part where we... Come on, Ellie. You want to get up here? Absolutely refuse to score. Come on, Ellie. You can get up there. Come on. Come on. There's room for you. There's room for you. It's okay, Fluffy. Now I got both of them up here. Come here, Ellie. Come on. There's room. There's room. Good girl. It's okay, Fluffy. Good boy. What the hell are you? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. No. Oh. Yeah! That's good luck, Ellie. That's your good luck. That's your good luck. That's your good luck. Give me five. Sorry. That's good luck. Ellie, you got us a goal, huh? You got us a goal. Hmm? It's a good girl. Say hi. Say go. Say go. Go. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah. As soon as I said, oh, it's not too high, right? I was as close. soon as I said it, can you fix the banner, please? I cannot reach. When Kachuk is taught clients, the other team should be scared. Yeah. All right, we'll take it. Good girl. Jacob says, see what happens when our defensemen actually take a wrist shot at the net and not wide and... And not a bloody slap shot every time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now I'm Montreal with possession, though. Good girl. Yes, I know. You give good kisses. That's disgusting. How am I supposed to call a hockey game with your tongue in my mouth? How am I supposed to do it? <laughs> What's the delayed penalty? We're go we, we did it again, right? As soon as we scored a goal, we did a penalty, but we... Huh? Owie, I love you. You're a good girl. Hmm? Can't even see me on the screen anymore. Raven says, I just came in to Jaws making out with Ellie. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Wait a minute, you can't see now. Here. There we go. I need some doggy hats. Do they make doggy hats? 
Look up at the screen, Ellie. The people want to see you with your hat on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie is... I'm yeah, that's sorry. the best way, really. I'm sorry, Ellie. I can't help you. <laughs> well, you're the one that came up here. Huh? You're a good girl. All right. Yeah, after every goal, we give up a we give up a damn penalty. By the way, if if they score, you have to lift the weights. I'm completely incapacitated. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Did you tell them about what we watched? The yeah, we talked about it before. Chris, you think Gudis isn't having a good game? He hasn't been on, I mean, he hasn't been responsible for either one of the goals. But other than that, I haven't seen, you know, I haven't seen either way. Or I guess the penalty was against him. I didn't, I, I didn't see because I was busy getting a dog tongue shoved up my nose. Oh, my good girl. Very rusty. No, right, that's understandable, though. So, Forsling, what did he do? Hmm. All right, so we got 12.46 left. Let's kill it off again, boys. Oh, this camera gives us a break from the digital ads. Yeah. Oh. Lundell could not get it out. Now Stahl, just get it out. Oh, did you see that guy kick Lundell? Gallagher, like, got his skate up. What the hell was that? All right, Montreal enters the zone. They've got possession now. They're set up. Buck 15 left in the power play. I don't see how I'm supposed to get up when when they allow this goal. So Kyle will have to do the lifting of the weights. You got to go, Riley. All right, bud. 51 seconds left in the power play. Oh, <sighs> let's go, guys. Yeah, now, well, this is then the power, power, or the penalty kill again. But Ekblad's out there with Montour again. Interesting. I wonder if they did something there. It's been so much special teams time. Yeah, see, look at that. Gallagher was falling down and, and Lundell like almost got his freaking almost got disemboweled there. Oh. Where you going, bud? I need to try to blow my nose first. Oh, okay. You wouldn't even know there's a dog here. Huh? You can't even tell there's a dog here. <laughs> Nineteen seconds left in the power play. Come on, guys, kill this sucker off. Nope, they're set up now. Only with seven seconds left, they're gonna have time for like one shot, like they did the last time. There's the shot. Stick the side. We've killed it off. Very well done. And Montreal is going to lose possession. Finally, here comes Stahl. Stahl got it right. Oh, man, that was so close. All right. Wow, it's 4 nothing Buffalo. Jeez. 
as good as couldn't tell. I'm trying to watch the defensive pairs. I think Maurice made a change. It's hard to say. Hmm? He took a fail. <laughs> Sure wish Lefty was getting a few more minutes here. But it has been a lot of PK time, power play time, which I'm sure he's done going to be neither. Barkoff behind the net tried to get it out to Colin White. He loses it. Gudis gives it away. Yeah, I see that. Oh, boy. Big hit by Gudis. Kind of by accident, too. The dude won't get out of his crotch. Gudis is putting his helmet back on. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, boy. Now my leg. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Here we go. Montreal's... Nope. They shot it wide. They looked like they had a little something going, and then they didn't. I'm trying to stretch out my leg. It's okay, kid. Just my leg is not good that way. Okay. Ooh, I was gonna go. I was gonna go dizzy there for a second. She's she's sitting on a nerve on my legs. 9:08 left in the period. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is good. yeah. And that that's the second time that I've seen left. She have the puck. And just have it taken away. Oh, this is good as his first game since December first. Right. Rob, you say Mahura doesn't seem to be on the ice much. I think a few of the people haven't, few of the guys haven't been out there because it's all the, the penalty kill and the power play time. It kind of does break into the rhythm of things. Buffalo is winning four to nothing against Jeez. Detroit. Come on, guys. This game has definitely gotten choppy. Bob gets it out, and Ekblad loses it, of course. Hey, hey. All right, let's go, guys. Get some offense. Gosh, all of our passes. We, we are so bad in the second period. Stall, trying to make something happen. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Cousins just got leveled from behind. Damn it. Make that 5 nothing. Buffalo Ghost says. Jesus. Jeez. What is happening to Detroit? Well, nobody was expecting them to be as good as they are. Yeah, it's not like they're playing Boston or Vegas. Right. You know, there's a lot of parody. So on any given night, if a team's having a bad night, it's it's you see a lot of this now. Anybody can be anybody, and it's in Buffalo too. All right, Panthers coming down with a three on two. Cousins with the shot, perfect. Even though it didn't go, that's the perfect play. Lomberg cut into the net. Cousins takes the shot, and with just a little bit of luck, he could have had a rebound shot. Lomberg just got nailed. And I see Ekblad's back out there with Forsling, so that must have just been a blip. All right. Ekblad does seem to be moving pretty okay tonight. I wonder if that groin finally finished up healing. Oh. All right, we got something going now. Ekblad loses it again. Oh, I just praised him for a half a second. The man cannot keep the puck on his stick. Come on. <laughs> Hey, Patrick. Yeah, Bokroff got a hattie in the first period. Wow, this second period's gone fast. 
Ellie, you only got five more minutes on my lap, kiddo. Then I gotta get up. I wonder if any jerk of a player tried to fake, fake like he had the puck, shoot, pretend they scored, and distract the goalie to let another player score. Oh, that's an interesting thought. Here we go. Come on, we got four on. We got three on one, four on two, whatever you want to call it, yeah. and that's what we do. That was terrible. Oh, that was that was terrible. Oh, Ekblad shot it just wide. Kachuk gets it back, and we lose it. We are so bad in the second period. Even though we haven't given up a goal and we scored a goal. We scored a goal. It's just we just don't play well in the second period. Fluffy's over here. Ellie's over here. Come on, Eckblad, just shoot the puck. Do something with it. Hey, Chuck, what the hell are you doing there? Oh, Ekblad drew a penalty. So it's a delayed call now. There we go. Bennett okay? Get up, Bennett. Yeah, Ghost, that's a good point, man. There's been no, no stoppages, hardly. Yeah, Patrick Barkov got a hattie. Yeah, you got a Hattie in the first first period. <laughs> the breakaway challenge, but your opponent is Mark Stahl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Nerfle says the end of Sanko having a crazy AHL game right now. A goal and a beauty slap shot assist. Yeah, he um. There's Fluffy. Fluffy. There's Fluffy. He's getting off the couch now. He's had enough. He's had enough. Good boy. Meanwhile, in my lap. Oh, my <coughs> lap. Oh, that's, that. that's that's my lap. Ah, phone screwed up. All How right. You want the bed? As Fluffy tried to sit in your lap. What? Well, he was a full-grown dog. Well, he used to sit in your kid's lap when he was one. Yeah. Even though he was, he hadn't filled out yet. All right. Yeah, Dennis Senko played well. I thought he was going to hand, you know, I thought he was, certainly he looks better than Lefty does tonight, but of course Dennis Senko did not look good in his first game either, so... It must just rub Maurice raw that he has to keep putting these kids in there because you know he doesn't like it. Hopefully Ekblad's okay because he fell. And, you know, he's kind of made a glass over there. Hey, Mike. Yeah. So far, all right, let's go. Ekblad's out to the power play with Reinhardt, Barkoff, Montour. And Kachuk. We're two for two on the power play. Jeez, who are the guys in red? All right, Kachuk gets it behind the neck. It's taken down. We get it back. And Ekblad loses it at the line. <laughs> what a shock. <laughs> and Montour has to bail him out. <laughs> Jeez. That's it, Ekblad. We're selling you at the deadline. That's it, man. We need cap space. Right? Barkov gets it out. To hey, you stopped the puck at the line. The Good salary job, Ekblad. Cap is our almighty gods that demand sacrifice. Right? Come on, Ekblad, just take a shot, man. Do something to shut me up. Get in the circle and take a shot. 
No, he passes it to Kachuk. Was I thought that was a goal for a half a second. Yeah, it just looked looked weird. <laughs> Robin says, I really like watching the checkers. You get to see these players show us the talent we have in the AHL. Yeah, no, Nerfle, I know. I just I know he he hasn't had much ice time. I complained about that too. But the couple of times I have seen him get have the puck, he got it taken away from him. But Danisenko looked bad in his first game too, so it is what it is. Hopefully he gets, you know, left she gets a decent opportunity. Oh, nice save by Monty there. Lundell with a nice shot and a rebound. Bennett tried to put it home, couldn't quite do it. Did you see the four digital ad start? It started flying with the helmet of the player. No. <laughs> These digital ads are stupid. Yeah. Oh, Deanna Sanko got another goal? Jeez. All right, come on, guys. 35 seconds left in the power play. 2.44 left in the period. Yeah. Bennett hunting the puck behind the net. Verhage lets it go, and that's going to basically kill off the penalty. Now, just don't do anything stupid here in these last two minutes. Like that. Like icing the puck. That was stupid. Oh, boy. We, we iced it on our own power play. How do you even do that? Um, you're passing it to somebody, and it, you know... You're not purposely doing it. You're passing it to somebody and the puck skips over his stick or something like that. So face off in the Panther zone. Bennett loses it. Montreal has the puck. This is this is that point in the in the period where where bad things can happen. Alright, nice play by Lundell. To get the puck back. Dump it in on goal. Aaron Eckblad missed the last 11 games. Yeah. All right, Montreal with about buck 42 left. They're coming into the zone. Something happened there. Somebody went flying like they was on roller skates on their back. They were slipping and sliding. Puck 24 left. Cousins gets it. Oh, <sighs> Cousins almost got the stall. Boy, that, I love this fourth line. Cannot complain. Is this the same fourth line that was on the ice for like two minutes in the first? No, that's the third line with Lundell and Lepchi and Reinhardt. <laughs> All right, 44 seconds left. Let's get out of this period with a two goal lead. Can't remember the last time we had a two goal lead. All right, Stahl gets it out to Verhage. Still can't quite. Clear this zone the right, the right proper way. Uh -oh. And Montreal's got the puck. But it looks like we're going to get it. Now, don't just get... Oh, boy! Almost the giveaway right in front by Gudis, who's, yeah, rusty. Let's put it that way. And now what? Knocked down with a high stick. So we still have to wait. Choppy period of play, but we'll take it.
San Jose is 11, 19, and 6. Yeah, but oh. they were supposed to be back. They were supposed to be back. Ellie, I hate to do this, baby, but I'm going to have to get you up now. Why don't you just sit here and record the recap here? No, I can't do that. Save me the Ugh. freight. Save me I the can't do that. Ellie, come on, baby. Come on, sweetheart. you got to move over. Don't eat me. Aww. This is tough. Ellie, come on. you got to move over. i got to do the recap, Ellie. Ellie. Come on, baby. Says, oh. <laughs> I'm going to be 12. I got 70 pounds of dead weight in my lap right now. She's like, I... Oh. Ellie. The years are going to pass by. Stop it. What? I'm cuddling with her. What else am I supposed... Ellie, come on, baby. Ellie, come on. Sweetheart. Hey, hey. Hey, wake up. Hey, you're still breathing, right? <laughs> come on. Let's go. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. You're killing me. Come on. Ah. <laughs> it's not funny. All right, come on. I got to get up, Ellie. This is funny. <laughs> Ellie. From my... And she's just laying on one leg. I can't move. <laughs> Ellie, come on, baby. Ellie, get over here. Good girl. All right, come take your spot. There's only like a little inch. When we do this to change over, you're just going to have to get right in there. All right. Okay, I'll be back. She's just going to take that spot. She'll let you sit there, though. She shouldn't bite you. All right, here. Give me a, give me a hand. <laughs> You're going to have to know. Let me leverage. Okay. Oh, shit. Ellie knocked me down. <laughs> All right. Unbelievable. Yeah, we, I kind of have to sit there. <laughs> 70 pounds of dead weight, Mike. She'll, yeah, there's, you got six inches of space. There's plenty of space. Yeah, yeah, we... Good girl. Please don't eat me. Please Good don't girl. eat me. Uh, okay. Louie, you take a girl. Barry Manilow is still touring. Or no, they're saying that's him doing. Manilow hits 2023. So congratulations, Pedfers. You managed to hold a multi-gold lead after two periods. I'm in shock. How did how did we do that? Who are those guys in the red jerseys? And what have they done with the Florida Panthers from the last rest of this month? Who is the good that we bear? <laughs> so Cowboys lead the Titans by a touchdown. Well, I think the Titans just drew straws and picked a random QB to start. The only game that matters for the Titans now is Week 18 against Jacksonville, and I hope that they get humiliated by Trevor Lawrence. So, thank you, Matthew Kachuk, for showing up to get, get us a power play goal. And congratulations, defense, for remembering how to defend for that. I believe... This is probably the best game I've seen in the pen first for two periods so far in at least a month. Unless 
unless the five to nothing shutout occurred earlier this this month or the five to one games. This is the best game the Panthers have looked. This is the best the Panthers have looked in a game where we give up two goals minimum. It's cold in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Tell you, between the biscuits and the rice and the chicken and the and the um the sugar, I'm a mm. I'm a I'm a a fitting to be snooting. <laughs> I, could, I could fall right asleep. Oh no. Uh, let's just say no overtime. Put it that way. No Matthias. No Matthias. He oh. wanted to talk to us, by the way, that told me was in the game. Of course he wanted to talk to us. When does he never want to when does he never want to talk to us? So Parise isn't a Minnesota Wild anymore. He's unless I think unless that's a different Parise. Did Zach Parise go to the Islanders? I thought he had several more years left on his contract with Minnesota. Could you help me out there, Ghost? Is Daryl Suter still a Minnesota Wild? I rewatched the video today called July 4th, 2012, the day that killed the Minnesota Wild, talking about how the signings of Zach Parisi and Daryl Suter to those 13 year, seven and a half million. Contracts, 13 years, seven and a half million a year contracts basically did in the Minnesota Wilds hopes and dreams by accident. Patrick says, Let's go, Islanders. If I recall correctly, the past decade, the Minnesota Wild have been, at best, close, but never close enough. Yeah, we bear. You ridiculous. So the Florida Panthers are in sixth place in the Atlantic, and we would basically need to ball out in the rest of the season to have any shot of making the playoffs. Columbus is still terrible, right? Like what a bad very bad team. Looking, I'm looking forward to seeing the inevitable first round exit of a team like either the Maple Leafs or maybe the Washington Capitals. Will it weep here? Which is going to perpetuate itself this year. Congratulations, Capitals. You still can't make it fast past the first round of the playoffs. Or will it be... Why does this keep happening to you, Toronto? You still can't make it past the first round of the playoffs. 
Mm. Which which one is not going to make it past the second round, chat? I mean, which one is not going to make it past the first round, chat? Capitals or Maple Leafs? Because I'm as happy as I am for a Vetchkin to be reaching the milestone he is with goals this year, I doubt his team is going to make a deep run. Daniel Ponchin says, My Red Wings are getting murdered by Buffalo right now. Can I be a Panthers fan for the rest of the night? Sure, Daniel. Oh. Of course, Detroit losing. If I recall correctly, Detroit is in a, what are they, fifth, fourth or fifth place in the Atlantic. So them losing helps us out as Panthers fans. Jay says, we not make hill. Never say never, Jay. It ain't over until... The math lady sees. <laughs> Caps got lucky once since Obi's been there. Face stink. At least they have hardware. At least the Capitals have a cup to drink from, drink their tears from, from all the first round exits. Don't worry, Yelly Bear. I never changed the banner. That's wow. a, well, I was focused on, I can't reach while Ellie is here. Oh, he's a ridiculous kid. <laughs> In the UK, they call trophies, trophy silverware, and call what we call silverware utensils. Second period shots, Canadians, two, Panthers, 12. Mm. We've had 17 slot shots of that, and they have had three. We are two for three on the power play, and they are one for four. Mm. Snort. That, yeah, that is fair. They did get it. They let me down a lot. My bad. For the Panthers prospects at the IA, IIHF World Junior Championship. Al Mar they showed it for like maybe a second. I would I would fix the banner, but what you can't see is right right next to me. Basically, sh having having me wedged into the corner of this couch's alley, I really don't want to risk moving forward and shifting every feet around, shifting myself until I don't really. If I shift my weight, you know, I might lose the room I've got. Yeah, Doggo is not quite on lap. Doggo has me wedged into the edge of this couch. Yeah. 
Yeah. You're weak. You need a bath. There's all this grime in your coat. Should I just call it dirt? The good news for the Florida Panthers is that we do not we we do are not sucking tonight. And we actually have a not just a one goal lead, it's a two goal lead. So all the Florida Panthers have to do is do better than than they have in most of the third periods of December. Which has been our best and worst periods. I would say, I guess, first periods have been the best for us, and then third periods have been garbage. Because we always pull out Bob when we're losing, and then they always get the empty netter. They're showing all that sweet reverse retro gear in Panthorland. All, all the awesome, all the awesome shirts. <laughs> Excuse me. So on Sunday at four thirty, well Sunday at five is Florida versus the Rangers, and on that same day, the one o'clock football game is Dolphins and. Patriots. All the Dolphins have to do is beat the Patriots and the Jets have to lose to the Seahawks and the Dolphins will have clinched the playoff spot for the first time in six years. Wouldn't that be awesome? We have a chance to clinch a playoff spot. The only problem is Teddy Bridgewater is our quarterback for probably the rest of the season. It looks like the third period is about to start so... That the period is starting. Yeah, Teddy isn't terrible. He's got to be a better option than what two has become in the past month. Three concussions in three months. What is that? I'm, I'm starving. That's what it is. Just, I'll be there in two seconds. You ate my jelly. <laughs> Jordan, excuse me, my jelly that I buy and that you have. Uh, just stay there for Ellie until I keep my spot until I'm there. I'll be there in like two minutes. I just, I gotta eat something. Uh, yeah, it might be the end of his career. Poor Tua. Mm -hmm. Ali, you uh -huh. what you're having in his jelly. Yeah, uh, we, you got spoiled, you and your brother. 
Okay, um... So Montreal... Uh-oh. Huck is out of play. Kachuk fell to the ice and he is slowly getting up. He's okay. Yeah, he's had too many concussions. I like, unfortunately, my mental picture of Tua in that fourth quarter against the Packers is him literally cross-eyed, barely able to tell that there are players in front of him, much less who they are and what team they're on. All right. And professional doctors say that he could permanently have brain damage if he gets another concussion. Okay. Which professional doctors? Careful. Alright, Ellie, I'm coming. Oh! You gonna make room for me? Look at this. I can't even get it into my couch. Uh-oh. I'll just knock the t Hold on. Ellie, you're not even letting me... Jeez, knocking everything all over the place. Are you still in picture? You get in your chair? Yeah, okay. All right, let me try to find a spot. Thank you for fixing the banner. I can't even sit in my own couch here. All right. I'll be right. Where are you going? I got to wash my head. Zoe's coat is so dirty. I got Picking up and okay. Cup with Bedard has 13 points in the last two games. Holy crap. Hi, Ellie. All right, let's finish this off. Huh? What should I do if we blow this game? But that's let's let's have some fun here. What should I do if we blow this game? If we lose this game 5-4 in overtime, what do I do? I tell you, I get hungry during these streams now, even though I eat the dinner when I do. Cuz instead of having like a big breakfast recently, I've been having protein shakes in the in the morning which holds me fine but when i have these streams tonight man i eat my dinner you know right before the game by the second period man i'm i'm starving <sighs> where are the opposing team's gear for the next game make a big temper tantrum how would anybody notice any difference andrew between that and a normal video <laughs> Oh, that's right. We got, yeah, that's right. We got cups, Reese's peanut butter cups. I turned on the heat too. It's cold, man. All right. No, I never get to sleep now. I just had jelly bread. Now I'm having the third Reese's peanut butter cup. Mm. Mm. Now tomorrow, the stream is going to be a half hour early. Going to have a special guest before the game tomorrow. So the game starts at 7.30. The stream is going to start at 6.30. Going to be a special guest before the stream. More before the game. What's the big news, Ghost? It's a Rahegi. turnover. Hey! Yay! All right. There we go. Yeah, Ellie. Good girl. Let me pipe. Ellie. Huh? Good girl, Ellie. 
Huh? Can I get a kiss? Can I get a goal kiss? Hey, give me a goal kiss. That's a good goal kiss. I like it. That's a good kiss. You're a good girl. That's a good You're a good girl. Oh, you gotta change the did banner. Go in. Of course it did. Yeah. Oh, the first angle made it look like it had just bounced off the post. Damn, puck hog for Hagee. Hey, change the banner, bro. Egg. Careful though. Damn, puck hog. Read what read what ghost is. Hold on. Ghost says I'm doing a six hour drive for mental health stream on Twitch to raise money for hope for the day. I will email you the link once it goes live. Alright, bud. When no. When? Do I have to install Twitch or something? I, I mean I'll do it. I just don't I don't have Twitch. Ellie is just like laying on me, man. She is like, I can't breathe. I can't move. <laughs> you just taking over the whole stream tonight, huh, Ellie? What what time tomorrow, bro? But tomorrow tomorrow is gym and and nappy time too. We're going to the gym. If I get nappy time, okay. Do not forget to get help me get registered for the dodgeball. Oh yeah, that's right. Ellie, you're just she's just like leaning on my stomach here. I can't breathe. Alright, Ellie's just taking over the stream here. Say by Monty. Poor Monty gave up five already, man. Dallas has taken a ten to nothing lead, which is to be expected because Tennessee literally drew their quarterback out by straws. Right. Do they really do that? There used to be a, a Florida Panthers Twitch channel. They huh. might as well have. It's not Malik. Right. Monty finally made himself a save. Ted Hill, I believe, is out for the season. Oh, that was a nice shot by Left G. Okay. Yeah, Ted Hill's out. Which means <laughs> all Jacksonville has to do is show up in week 18, and they're going to be played. They're going to be played either Cincy or Baltimore. Right. In the first round. In the, in the wild card. Mahura with the shot. All right, guys. Let's finish this up. Yep. Now. What do I do if we lose this game 6-5? What do I do? <laughs> Uh-oh. Did he make that save? Wow. Nice save, nice. Bubba. Good job, Bubba. All right. It's that seen. was a beautiful shot by Carter. Yeah, for Hagee. We now have a free goalie. What devil magic is this? <laughs> Goes, I announced the trade. Yeah, if we lose 6 5, I just announced the trades. Good point. What you doing, Ellie? <sighs> Speaking of devil magic, are the devils still in free fall? Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? 
Hold on, I gotta answer something here real quick. Where you going, kiddo? Okay, good. Big public trades. Okay. Remember the beginning of this? Of the NFL season when people thought Denver could win that division? Yeah. And the funny thing is, is, oh, is if they okay. had any offense at all, they would have. Right. At a certain point, someone had said that if the Denver Broncos had been able to score just 18 points uh -huh. in every single game mm -hmm. at that point of the season, they would be 8-1. and one. Wow. Yeah. Oh, she's got to go out. Yeah, she going crazy for the water, Tim. That's for sure. Andrew, you guys got a tie game now? Yeah, I guess so. No, now she's back over here. She was standing there like she wanted to go out. <laughs> to a goal dance. That means I'd have to get up. That would take the enjoyment out of them scoring as if I had to get up off the couch. So we're going on a power play now, thanks to Carter Verhage's face. Chances are the stream will start around 1 to 2. All right, what's tomorrow, Friday? Yeah, that, I, I, can, I can check that out. I, that's after nappy time. Should be after the gym time. I don't like to. I like to be done with the gym about twelve thirty-one. All right, let's go. Power play again. See if Eck Black can do something. He needs a goal. That was shot sticked wide and comes all the way back to Montour out. Just flail my arms around while I'm sitting. <laughs> I'll take that in. Well, we kind of, I kind of already do that, though, don't I? <laughs> oh, Bukestad, jeez. Yay! Yay! Flail arms around. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Kachuk again? So that's two. Are we going to get double power play or double hat tricks? Wow. Potentially nerfful, yeah. Potentially two hatties. Yeah. Maybe. Daddy. What are you doing? Love it. Wow. Poor Monty getting Ellie, why are you trying to get up there? Barkov ties career high with five points. Tonight. Wow! Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Let's go. Get up there. Come on, let's go. We got another goal. I need goal kisses. I need goal kisses. I need the goal kisses. That's disgusting, though. I love it. Give me more. Yes. <laughs> Come here, huh? Six Come on, get goals in the. Come on, you got a spot for you. Forty-two shots. Poor Monty, man. Monty the goalie, not Bob. Mad Bull says, Oh, my Panthers beat the Hurricanes last five times. I didn't realize it was. Wow. Come on, but hey, you can't have the whole Benke. No, I want the Benke. It's my Benke. Lay, lay, on, the, lay on the Benke or lay on my leg or something. What are you doing? Detroit has scored three unanswered. Wow. 
Jeez, talk about no defense. All right, good girl. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did, Raven. All right, so 12-15 left. It's 6-2. The only thing left now is a Kachuk hat trick, right? Yeah, I'm hoping we get to the gym tomorrow. My Great. plan is wake up, take care of the dogs, get my nap in, and then we'll go to the gym. Okay. Lomberg with a shot saved by Monty. Who they've let this poor kid in. Six goals on 32 shots. <laughs> Oh, it was a national stream, so you couldn't do the game. The Yotes own the Maple Leafs. <laughs> All right, let's finish this off now. Okay. What the hell got into this team? They played like this the rest of the year. The hell's going on? Because the fans hadn't turned on Maurice yet. Andrew says, I don't think Jaws wants to see Jaws, or Kyle wants to see Jaws twerk. I think Kyle's seen it all, man. Doesn't mean I would want to see it. I, I, there's no danger of me twerking. None. Mm. It hit the oh, post. it hit the outside of the post, though. Jake, because teams go through slumps. A 35-game slump? <laughs> I hear you, though. I'm, I'm afraid to get my hopes up. Nine points out, is a, that's a big ask. Yeah, it requires not just that we win and keep winning. It requires... At least two or three of our teams to go completely kaput. Well, not completely. Oh, we got a two-on-one. Let's go. Bennett. Yeah! yeah! Touchdown! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. I'm so glad that I don't have to lift weights when we score. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, Jake says it's a slump season. E2 Lusterine. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> that defenseman did everything he could. He just fell at the wrong yep. spot. Wow. wow. That's awesome. Yeah, we won 10. What the hell? You know, it is Montreal that hung 10 on us last time it was in our building. Uh, that might have something to do with our attitude tonight. Remember? Yeah. Here we come again. Who are these guys in the red? No dump and chase. No soft playoff style play. Right. It's almost as if the coaches listen to the criticisms. Almost. Almost. Please don't let this be a barrage. <laughs> right. Jake said, "Yeah, now leave all the game. Leave the game early, half fans." Oh. <laughs> nice save, Bubba. That's like one of only two chances the halves have had. Yeah, I mean, hey, Fluffy. She didn't drink all the water on him, did she? Uh, she 
No, she that's did. just... Oh, she did? Yeah. Thank you. Uh-oh. Are we going to have a fight? Oh, holy crap! What Kick his ass, Stahl! Yeah. Oh, oh no. A ref was taken down. Oh, and, and the ref's hurt now. Oh, man. Oh, oh no. geez, what a mess. I have to... Oh, this. man. The dude... The dude, I think it was. It got he got Edmondson Cook got got Gudis from behind, and Stahl came in to get Edmondson, and then they got tangled up. And that's not good. That sucks. Yeah. Oh, you go to commercial. Come on, Bally's. Jacob says ref jumped in too early. Well, I would like to analyze. Analyze. I'd like to give analysis on the replay. But Bally says to go to freaking commercial. Come on. We want to see what the hell is happening on the ice. I don't care about the stupid freaking Toyota thon. Come on. Nope, full on commercial break. Unbelievable. I think they don't want us to see that ref and agony. We'll show the replay. Ah, uh, <laughs> Somebody on Facebook says, I say embellishment on the ref. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that didn't look good. As, Poor guy. You know, the irony is, the irony is earlier, earlier in this, earlier in this game, I was wondering how refs don't get injured more often. As oh, it. thank you, X. They scored so many times, we didn't fix the banner. We didn't make it touchdown. We were sitting there at 6-2 the whole time. Though, like, I wonder how many times the player has gone in Thanks, to guys. smash someone against the board and accidentally smashed a ref instead. Can I say, what did I say? Now I forgot the word, because I made it up on the spot. All right, see, watch what happens. Now watch, watch, watch Gudis. Watch where Gudis is, right? Gives him the slash, okay? Then they're putzing around. Then watch. Boom! Ooh. Just from behind. So Stahl grabs him, oh. and then just, damn. Oh! Uh. That sucks. Ugh. What did I say? Analyze. Analyze. I think that's what I said. <laughs> I wanted. I want to analyze it. <laughs> Facebook user thinks he hyperextended it. Yeah, maybe that that did not look like fun. Ref might have got a Charlie horse. Now, what are they calling? There what? really should just be two and two for roughing. I mean, nobody... It was by accident. Well, no, Edmondson needs two for getting Gudis from behind. You can't just run up on a guy from behind and do that. Yeah, analyze. That's, the, my, that's my new word. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh. I guess there's always like a spare linesman or ref on hand if one gets injured. I think. I think they just play go a guy short. Wow. Would I take Cole, Cole Caulfield? Yeah. I wouldn't mind Caulfield on this team. I don't know if he's going to be on the top line. Ghost. My dad mixed those two words together, so instead yeah. of analysis or analyze, it yeah. was analysis. It's analysis, yeah. 
<laughs> I give high quality analysisation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I agree, Jake, about, about stall sticking up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. People uh -oh. are dropping like flies. Just I just hope Barkov's okay. No offense to the Canadians player, but... Cooley? Is he all right? I mean, it's seven to twos. They should just call the game. People stop getting hurt. That's it. What's and that in Little League? Is like the 10-run rule. And we're on the power play, too. Yeah, Caulfield on the second line. Um, ooh. Oh, 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 that leg. Oh, his, oh. Look watch what his, happens. Watch his leg. Ah. Oh. Uh. Oh, man. He got ran into by his own teammate. Jeez, they're dropping like flies, like you said. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Nerf. We'll just play the fourth line the rest of the night. Yeah, it's and, and, yeah, it's a seven-goal mercy. Oh, is it? Is that what it's called in Little League? And I played Little League baseball. It was a 10-run rule. Come on, Kachuk. We need another hat trick. I can't believe I hit the mic. I'm, that I'm gonna make that to a clip tomorrow. Hi, oh, Ellie's over here snoring on my leg. All right. Off the post. <laughs> oh. All right, Bennett. Trying to get the chuck behind the net. Feeds it out to Montour. Back over to Kachuk. Takes a shot. Reinhardt tried to deflect it. I can't believe how good these guys look tonight. Like, all of the things with the passing and everything is working. Yeah. I don't understand. Maybe. Are they going to do this thing where they give us all false hope and then miss by, like, two points? Maybe it's just the rest that we got over Christmas. Well, everybody got the rest, though. Yeah, but let the level of grinding that we've been doing right that's a good point that's a good point kyle and paul isn't immediately making them grind again right <laughs> ghost yeah for, so it's a seven goal lead right yeah and in baseball it was 10. all the way oh Oh, Luce Threnin almost got one there. Ottawa is tied with Washington 3-3. Free free. Yeah, you see, the thing is for, well, Ottawa doesn't matter, but. We could use the. We could use Ottawa right to win, but I can't watch the other team's games right now. I mean, it's too early to be scoreboard watching. We got to win. Doink. Is, is Edmondson out, is Edmund Edmondson out of the game for misconduct? I doubt that. I didn't. I can't really hear what Goldie and Randy are saying. So, TK, yeah, this is the same team? Question mark. Exactly. I mean, we got a lot of guys back. Let's be honest. Yeah, Gudas and Ekblad and Barkov. And now everyone's fresh off the break. Right. And Lundell obviously is healthy. And Ms. Ice of Night says, this is their Christmas gift to you, Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Dolphins gave up. 
the Dolphins spoiled Christmas, so good to see the Panthers making up for it in spades. How do you... Concussion is the only explanation for throwing three interceptions on four plays in the fourth quarter. Right. Oh, I think, Raven, did you do that by accident? Looks like Raven did it by accident, I think. Stormy says, I'm currently at the movie 7 to 2. This is shit I miss when I can't watch for one day. <laughs> no, why, why? I don't know how to undo that. Undo what? Um, Ghost got put in timeout by accident. Call a game. Okay, so any second now, it is 4.30 now left in the game. We have a 7-2 lead, and we are back into... Damn it. Yeah, I can't. We move. It's all right, Raven. It's, it's not the end. It'll be all right. I'm trying to see if I can... Undo it, but I can't. Won't let me undo it. Let's see. It won't let me do it. Eyes of Night says hashtag free ghost. <laughs> Gouda spiders. Puck is up and out of play. <sighs> Will do. I will. I tried to undo it, but I guess it doesn't allow for that. He says it's okay. He'll be back. You know, he says it's okay, Raven. That's funny. I didn't even see it. Yeah, this is the shit you miss when you can't watch for one day. Is this game still going on? Yeah. Yep, definitely a victory cigar tomorrow, Jacob. Finally. All right. Ghost is back. Yay. Hey, all right. Does this mean victory cigar tomorrow? All right, thanks, buddy. We'll see you. Facebook says users decide. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was saying, see ya. All right. <laughs> that's funny. Ghost got timed out. <laughs> So how much time is left? Okay, 3.40. Fastest hat trick to start a game in team history. Franchise record 67th career power play goal and Ty's career high with five points. Now, do it again tomorrow night. <laughs> Just keep doing it. Do it every night. Right? Seriously. Oh, you guys are going to overtime, Andrew? No, Stu's at home, Mike. Stu's at home.
practically handed Montreal an opportunity to get a garbage goal. And yeah, no garbage goals. We want a Kachuk hat trick. When do they pull the goalie? I don't think they're pulling the goalie. We pulled the goalie so many times. Why can't the other team do it for once? Not at 7-2. to two. They're down five goals. What do they have to lose? Every time I see the slogan for Voodoo Ranger IPA that says live rangerously, yeah. I just read it in Scooby Doo's Scooby Doo's voice. Like, <laughs> right. Live rangerously. <laughs> live rangerously. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 222 up. Left she is offsides. Montour uh -oh. is We're in having a, a fight, fight on Gal Gallagher. Gallagher. Mike's this what an awesome game tonight. I'm soaking in this best game I've seen us play this year. Yeah, it's just been fun. Yeah. Montour's like, hey, I wanna go I wanna go get a shower early. Yeah. That's what he's like. He wants to go hit the showers early. Gallagher wants to wash the stench <laughs> of this game off as quickly as he can. Right. Let's see, Montour, he got hooked. And oh my god, what slammed. a dirty play that is. Gallagher tried to yeah. basically lop off Montour's legs. What the hell is that? Ugh. I mean Yeah, dirty to it. That was dirty. Like, what the hell was that? Like a true Cobra Pot. Yeah, that was weird, man. Oh, DeBrincott wins it in overtime. Four foot. Is that the... Ottawa completes the comeback. Right. Good for nice. them. Yeah, I can't believe that. I've not. That was one of the oddest things I've ever seen. Bubba, they didn't play the Maurice system. They're not playing the Maurice system tonight. Tonight they played the Q system. I did not see very much. Did you see any dump and chase tonight? I don't know. Did anybody see any dump and chase tonight? Exactly, Bubba. We did. We, we I did not see any dump and so chase we tonight. So up on the power play now. Yeah. We were three for five on the power play, not including the results of this one. Right. Buffalo is winning six to three now, so they finally answered. All right, come on. Where's Kachuk? Where's Chucky? Oh, come on, give Kachuk his yeah, hat we want trick. Yeah, two hat tricks. Yeah. And bark off his six points. Bob, yeah, it's like watching last year's team exactly. Ryan Lomberg is out on the power play. Good for him. Okay, Toronto has made it 2-1 against Arizona. Hmm. I hope so, Bubba. I mean, it worked. Yeah, I mean, 
why not? I mean, you know, as long as defensively we're holding them to two, three goals. If we're good out, I mean, what he seven. was, yeah, I mean, what he's got to win games. You know what I mean? I mean, we're at a point where you got to win some games. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe Zito sat him down during the break and said, look, dude, we got to win some freaking games here because people are going to stop showing up. Sorry about that, Monty. But all he had to do, do was show him a compilation of you. <laughs> right. I'm going to let this guy keep... I'm going to sick this guy on you. <laughs> him and his friend with a cigar can I come to your house. I thought Stahl had scored. Is it not that Stahl? Not that Stahl. The other Stahl. Eric Stahl scored, but not Mark. Just come on now because you won't immediately be on. I still have to add you once you come on. Okay. So there's five seconds left on the power play. Doesn't look like we're going to score. But they started playing like last year. We are going to win and not because we looped our way right. to a victory. Because we obliterated... Seven to two. So yeah, all we need now is about another five, six, seven, eight, nine of these in a row, and we'll be in a better spot. <sighs> Vegas Golden Knights at fifty points. The LA Kings at 46. And <laughs> All right. All right. All right. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the rats should be. The rats should be. Force. There we go. There's a couple of the rats. There he is. Okay. All right. So the game is over. And uh, there we go. All right. There you go, buddy. Yeah, let me mute the TV. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry for the low light. Hold on. Hold on. I, I can't hear you. You got no sound, bro. Sorry for the so, low light. Start talking guys. again. I got no sound for you. Are you sure the microphone is into? I mic? unmuted. I don't know why. Can you guys hear him? Maybe I. Maybe I'm the only one that. Can I don't hear know, him. but I'm here. Oh, you guys can hear him. Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. Can you get the talk say something, Stu? Like I said, I'm sorry yeah, about the low light, but I can only smoke outside, so. Okay, so that that's what it is. I got to have my headphones in to hear you, but everybody else can hear you. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to go do the recap. You guys got Stu. Kyle, just sit here. You got the headphones on so you can hear in case Stu is talking to you. Okay. All right, I'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes. There's no rant tonight. So you All guys right, are... let me go on YouTube real quick so I can um, see comments. But okay, I want to uh, I yeah, want to see who watched the video that we made earlier because uh, I'm Haiti, glad that we did that. First star of... Yeah, you know that was a good idea. I, um, he... yeah, Stu Stu's gonna go to uh, he's gonna go to YouTube so he can see the chat. So he's he's getting there. Just give him a second. I'm there. You're there? All right, I'm going to go do the recap. All right, I'll be back. All for, right, Kyle. For Hagee. So, oh, hey, everybody. We're getting stars. I'm sure that last star is, is Mark. Pretty Paul. cool. Right. Um, 
right. Okay. I'll be back. Yeah, I can see the chat now, uh, Eyes of Night. Here's... Here's Barkov. He's getting the, le the last star. So it's uh, Verhage, Barkov, and hey Kyle. Got... Hey Stu. I don't believe. Well, I'm... anyway, I predicted five one five two. So what can I say? I'll take six two. Um, seven two actually. Oh, seven two. Right. Okay. <laughs> What's another goal, huh? Amongst yeah. friends. Anyway, I mean... Barkov came alive. Yeah. Exactly as I was hoping. Um, I would have well, liked to have seen, uh, you know, Lebski play with him, but doesn't matter. Mm. Hat trick in the first period. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Not just the hat trick in the first period, but the fastest hat trick in franchise history at 15 minutes and 22 seconds. And I believe Barkov tied his, his up. Highest points in the game with five tonight. Yeah, and yeah, so you know, I, I I wish Eric was here to hear me say this, but for Hagee, that puck hog, he's got a two on one. All he's <laughs> got to do is slide it over to Barkov, so Barkov gets his fourth goal, and what does he do? He scores himself. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll. I, one of the things that I had noticed during the slump was the Panthers seemingly being unable to capitalize on most of the breakaways and huge scoring opportunities. I mean, we would be jamming the puck. Yeah, well, that, we... that, that, that's that been the difference in a lot of the games is not yeah. burying that second or third goal when they needed it. So <laughs> everything was working tonight. Really, really happy to see us you yeah. know, come out of the break. With such a you know dominating victory, <laughs> but it's Montreal, so let's face reality. Tomorrow's a big test. Carolina is probably the hottest team in the league right now, and we're playing in Carolina, where we usually don't do that well. So, and who knows? Spencer Knight will probably be in net. Oh, Spencer so. Knight. Well. Uh well, I won't rule us out immediately against Carolina, but I just want what I really want to know is if the Panthers looking so high energy and playing like the complete opposite of style of play that Paul Maurice is having them do usually, is this yeah, a mirage J or is it something real? Well, Jacob is asking me, was that Paul Maurice behind the bench tonight? I, I really <laughs> don't think Maurice had to do a lot tonight. Other than, you know, throw the lines out. It's the players that took control of the game. Um, just from the opening, man, they, they were on a mission. Um, yeah, Florida Panthers. Hey, Rosado. Yeah, we played horrible. <laughs> I don't think so. Eyes of Night is asking if we beat the Hurricanes this year. I thought we did. I thought we had, I thought we had like, broke, broken even with them or something. I'm not sure how many games we've played with the Hurricanes already. I, the games don't stick into my brain the way they probably do with with you and my dad. Hey, guys, correct correct me if I'm wrong. I think we played them once this year. So, yep. No, Rosado, it's always a cigar, man. I never smoke <laughs> cigarettes. Never have, never will. Ugh. Um. My oh, cigar. Right. says, Knight shut out the Hurricanes four to nothing. Okay, there you go. Thanks, wow. Nerfle. Thank you. So, so it looks like we might actually have something. I, my dad and I made the joke where during the Christmas break, Bill Zito basically just called Paul into his office, showed him a compilation of dad's angry rants and said if you don't start winning games soon we're going to send him after you with termination papers and fire yeah. ants crawling on the termination papers yeah, so uh, so dustin is asking me if this is going to be a, a nightly thing no this was just uh we planned on doing this this is the first one um you know with trying to put out some new ideas, new content. Um, we actually have our first sponsor, 
um, and we'll be introducing that sponsor uh, very soon. You guys will be really excited to see who it is. Um, but yeah, you know, today's video, when uh, Eric and I got on to talk about the product that we're going to be um, promoting, I said, let's do a quick video. And there's just some things I wanted to talk about. And obviously, you know, some of the things that I talk about came to fruition tonight. So I'm kind of sort of glad that we did that. Barkoff, I mean, this is a different team when he's, you know, leading by example. Um, obviously, Kachuk keeps doing his thing. Um, I thought Ekblad had an okay game. Um, yeah, I mean, Mahura and Gudis being back together, that's big. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, before Gudis got hurt, the ratings came out of the top 10 defensemen, and Gudis and Mahura were ranked fifth in the league. Wow. Yeah, so Jacob's asking me, what are your thoughts on Gal's attempt to slew foot Montour? Listen, oh, you know, that's uh, bullshit, dirty plays that, you know, <laughs> no you know, kidding. he's he's another one of those uh, in the mold of Brad Marchand. You know, he's a great player, but he pulls this crap and gets away with it. So what's my thoughts? My thoughts are the next time that we play the Canadians – yeah, Monto we'll gives him a shot in the boards and, you know, gives him a gives him a reminder that uh, he shouldn't be doing stuff like that. But so. the crazy thing is, is that wasn't even the, 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 the craziest the craziest thing that happened as far as fighting on the ice. That yeah, I, that's poor ref. I and look what happened ref. at the end of the game with Edmondson and, you know, cross-checking Gudis. It's just Bush League, man. <laughs> but, you know, you're a team that's getting slaughtered out there, and you have your pride, and, you know, you lose your temper. So, anyway, guys that are in the chat, man, I'm here to answer questions and comments, so fire away. Yeah, and Hardwood was asking where Jaws is. You have joined us during the post-game show where – up before tonight's game, it was just me responding to all of you in the chat. But tonight, for the first time, uh, I am honored to be joined by Stu. And he will be joining us for pretty much every single post game he can from here on out. Yeah, well, we shall see. Well, yeah. I'm here tonight. <laughs> yeah. So um, thanks, Hardwood. We love you guys too, man. You, you know, just, that's why we do this thing. When are you going to a Panther game? Um, Rosado, I don't know. Um, the last game I went to, I got sick with that respiratory thing, and I actually left, which is something I would never even think about doing, but I was just really going downhill quick. So um, – I don't know. You know, it's a long ride for me. The way the teams have been playing, I really had no motivation to go. Um, my company doesn't have the suite anymore, so it's not like I can just get tickets for every game. So we'll see. We'll see. Anybody, you know, wants to, uh, you know, give me tickets or take me to the game, that's fine. Just uh, reach out and we'll see. But for right now, I'm happy, you know, I'm I get to smoke. You can't smoke at the arena anymore. I used to, you know, my ritual was, you know, every uh, intermission I'd go out on the on the terrace there and smoke or well, the smoking lounge. But, um, you know, I have my routines. So um, let's see what we got here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Am I going to the All-Star game? Um, right now, I have no plans to go to that. All right. How does it feel? To the <laughs> okay, Mike, if you say so, you're a legend in your own mind, bro. <laughs> Eyes of Night says Grigory Denisenko got three points tonight for our AHL team. Excellent. And Excellent. Team, oh, they just cut away. They were showing the records and points with and without Barkov. I know without Barkov, we were like two, six and two and point three hundred for the record. Oh, we we needed 
Barkov back. And Gudas. And Ekblad. I mean, Barkov and Ekblad, apparently, my dad wasn't even aware that they had been out for 10 and 11 games straight, respectively. It's, wow. Yeah. All right, so let me answer Jacob's question. Who is your most anticipated prospect? You got to elaborate on that question, bro. Um, TK, be more specific, all right? TK, you text with Randy during the game? Yes, I do. I don't do it all the time. Um, and it's amazing. They'll go to commercial break and he'll answer me. So it's um, very fortunate, you know, to have Randy as a good friend. We go back 30 years and, um, you know, I'm Trying to get him on the channel again. I thought we were going to do something for Christmas, but I didn't want to bother him, you know, thinking he'd be with his family. So we'll, we'll get Randy on again real soon. So, congratulations again to Alexander Barkov for becoming the franchise leader in power play goals with 67, now surpassing Scott Mellenby at 66, and Ollie Jokinen apparently had 65. So... Is overall a fantastic night for the Panthers, a really fantastic night for Barkov, and I would say definitely Verhage and Kachuk earned the other two stars in that game. Just me, I mean, so overall. Jacob says, I meant from the current prospects the Panthers have seen so far, who do you have the high expectations to be a future star? I don't think we can. Uh, I don't think we can label Lundell as an as a prospect anymore. Um, that's a very good question. I I like Dalpy, but Dalpy's a veteran. Um, Denisenko high on him. Unfortunately, there was no room for him tonight. If we wanted to see this, you know, this new kid. So we'll see. Ask me that question at the end of the year. All right. So DeAnthony's saying, yeah, seven goals. Are, Listen, I said that in a video earlier in the day. We should win this game. We're playing pretty much the, one of the worst, if not the worst team in the league. And um, I would have been really bummed out if the outcome was different tonight. All right. So, uh, Rosado, why are you even asking me that question? My favorite Disney ride? <laughs> yeah, he, he likes to ask about the Disney stuff. I Crazy. Um, Space Mountain. That's a good pick. Uh, I was, as the co one coaster I was pretty terrified of as a kid. I mean, it's basically a, a bobsled ride in the dark. So it's one of those coasters that starts fast and keeps speeding up throughout the whole time. My favorite ride is always going to be Haunted Mansion. I believe I've said that before. Yeah. Well, Back about forty years or so ago, we used to smoke joints in that on that ride. Oh yeah, that that's pretty that's pretty cool. That's, Crazy, yeah. Uh, Dustin, my son was wondering. Players still answer to mail. Uh, that's a question that I cannot answer. Um, I would suggest if the Panthers ever have an open practice again, that's the uh, that would be the opportunity to, you know to try and get an autograph. Um, video Mark, Lundell. Um, well, Lundell's coming back from injury. I don't think he's back to where he was, but he didn't play a bad game tonight, did he? You tell me. Um, I don't know if he was quiet, but obviously, you know, the top line did most of the scoring tonight. So, um... <laughs> Verhage is Verhage a top fifty player? Um, that 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 might be right. I'm on the fence on that. I'd say yes. Oh, here's a good question, TK Stu. Favorite Grateful Dead album or Bootleg? Okay, so TK, as you probably know, the Grateful Dead made shitty records. In fact. I've seen over 200 Grateful Dead shows. My first show was in 1973. A lot of the songs that the Dead recorded were actually played live before they recorded them. So um, as far as bootlegs, live shows, I got a lot of them. Cornell, 
5877 is the ultimate Grateful Dead show. And then uh, the next night was Buffalo. I went to that, and that was a great show. There, there's a lot. The, some of the shows from 81 that I went to were smoking. Um, so, yeah, there's just too many. I don't really have a favorite, but my favorite jam is Scarlet Begonia's Fire on the Mountain. Seen a lot of them. Um, yeah. TK, true story. That was at Disneyland, by the way, not Disney World. Oh, yeah. So, um, anyway, yeah. You okay, we got up. Listen, Bob's been an anchor back there. You know, we're counting on him to make the saves, and he's making them. You know, he he got beat with a with a tip in tonight, and um, trying to remember the second goal, but um, yeah, Bob's doing what he needs to do. It's the rest of the guys that need to step up. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Rosado, man, why are you asking me these non-hockey questions? Um, <laughs> I'm afraid I encouraged I him earlier in this year. What's that? I'm afraid I might have encouraged him to ask, you know, sometimes when I was doing these post games by myself or the intermissions by myself, inevitably Disney or something else would be brought up. When all right, let's, so let's bring it back to hockey, guys, all right? I'll just say I don't have a favorite Michael Jackson song. Michael Jackson really wasn't my cup of tea. Um, Grateful Dead, Pearl Jam, U2, Rush. Uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm a classic rock guy. So anyway, do you have a favorite arena you visited? Um, so I've been to a lot of arenas in the country. Um, I guess the formerly named Staples Center, um, that, that place is humongous, but the reason why I like the Staples Center is my best friend has season tickets right on the glass behind the net, right to the side of the net. Um, and it's on the side where the Panthers shoot twice, so Every time, you know, I try and plan a trip out there. I, I didn't do it since COVID. Um, but the last trip, I you know, I would usually do Anaheim and L.A., go to both of those games. So I like Anaheim. Colorado, been there. Um, obviously, Madison Square Garden. The Coliseum is where I grew up. I worked for the Islanders, so I always have a special place in my heart for the, uh, the Nassau Coliseum. Um, but, 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 do I think the team is relocated? Uh, no, I do not. Ever meet Yormac? Yes, I did. Didn't like him. Sorry. Hmm. So Yeah, the Staples Center is not even the Staples Center anymore. I don't know what they call it. And, of course, I went to the forum. And, you know, this is when the Kings wore purple uniforms. That was pretty cool. Um. So, yeah. Um, in fact, I moved out to L.A. I went to school in, in college in Buffalo and moved out um, the following year. And I remember that the Islanders had won the first Stanley Cup and they came out for, you know, a road game in L.A. And it was in the middle of the afternoon and I just basically walked in the dressing room. <laughs> it's really funny and kind of reunited with all of those guys, Nystrom and Bot and Potvin and Bossy and stuff. Yeah. One of these days we'll do a video dedicated to my, uh, my Islander days. Um, very impressionable as a teenager to be so close to the team. And, you know, I was a glorified gopher, you know, I put the pucks on ice. I cut oranges. I did laundry. I did basically every, anything and everything that they asked me to do. But what was really cool was one of the perks was that I got free hockey lessons because in the summertime, um, there were a core group of Islanders that stayed on Long Island. And that's Nystrom, Gillies, uh, the Potvin brothers, Drew Juran. Um, uh, JP Parisi was on the team. There was Andre Saint Laurent, Gary Howitt, Lauren Henning, Bob Bourne. I'm trying to remember all these guys. So in the in the morning, they would play, you know, pick up hockey game, and then in the afternoon they'd play tennis. And I was Lauren Henning's 
doubles partner in tennis. That was a lot of fun. And I'm 16 years old, guys, 15, 16, so 17. Anyway, um, what else? Have you seen the Panthers play a better game this year than tonight? I mean, um, well, I guess there was the, what was it, the shutout against Carolina? There, there's This is easily top five, if not top three games we've played this whole season. Let's just say they played a good game tonight and leave it at that. <laughs> They they have to see the problem with the Panthers this year has been their consistency. They have not, and I call it the Jekyll and Hyde syndrome. So one night we'll get a game like this, and then the next game we'll get a clunker where we just look awful. So hopefully, hopefully we go in tomorrow with a lot of energy and we're able to, you know go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Carolina. Like I said, Carolina is the hottest team in the league right now. Um, I would be pleasantly surprised if we win that game tomorrow. So, yeah, low expectations for tomorrow, but you never know. Yeah, you never know. I mean, we looked impressive tonight. I mean, it was against the Montreal Canadiens. Basically, I, I was surprised to see that we were only – one point ahead of them going into this game. And I guess we had had much more of a slump than, than I had really thought. But uh, the end on CBS Sports, they do the power rankings for the hockey teams. And the one they did going into the Christmas break, they presented as like a Christmas list where one team had one thing each they wanted from Santa for the Panthers. They said cap space because you know when you're paying the goalie ten million dollars a year, gonna be a little short on cap space. Yeah, but um, thankfully it did not bite us tonight. <laughs> no, it it's it it's been a problem. Obviously, you know the Bob contract. You got Ekblad at seven and a half million. Mm -hmm. uh, now you got Barkoff at ten million. So um, okay. we'll have some cap space, at, okay. you know, after the season ends. All right. Oh, we still got a little bit of a crowd too, huh? Yeah, they're Good. enjoying asking Stu enjoy all the questions. All right, I, I, um, I can go. It can go about another seven. Or, tell them it can go about another seven or eight minutes because once once I have to upload the video, I can't upload and stream at the same time. Okay. So I got about another six minutes, and then I have to. Ask so Jacob is asking, do, 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 do I think we were going to get ten goals tonight? Eh. <laughs> no. I'm okay with seven. I thought we were going to get five. That was my prediction in the video earlier today. I said five one or five two. So anything after that was bonus. But the big thing is we won the game, which we really. Tonight was like a must win. You know, we, we had this break we're coming out of the break now, and we just have to, we have to go on a, listen, guys, if we have any realistic chance of making the playoffs, we got to win seven or eight games in a row. 14, 16 points. That will get us back in the mix. Yeah. And we also have to hope a couple of upper teams, you know, don't they that they do not also win six or seven or eight games in a row? I'm watching the TV's muted, but they're showing the post game press conference of Paul Maurice. What I find interesting is he makes almost the exact same face whether yeah. we're winning or losing. It's very difficult to tell that we had won tonight. Based yeah, on I, I, I turn the game off when you know they, they do his. His post game, <laughs> really, I, 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 I don't care for the guy. Hey, Rosado, you ask, you, you're making this thing again. This trade, Bennett for Justin Schultz. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a loyal Bennett guy. I, I think he brings a lot to the table, and um, I don't trade him. Sorry. Uh, Dustin Giovanni Smith. Hey, listen, we just saw him for a few minutes the other night. Let me let me watch some more. Let me watch some more of his play, and then I'll uh, give you a better a better review. Um, I wasn't impressed. 
if anything, I wasn't impressed with him the other night. To be honest, wasn't impressed. I think we got him for his, his toughness. Obviously, he had a fight, which really wasn't much of a fight. But I don't know why that deal was made. Um, next. Next, yeah. Ronnie just says Verhage. I mean, yeah. Puck hog. And he gave us one of the critical goals in that contest, so good for him. <laughs> it's, yeah, Verhage the puck hog, man. Where's your dad? Where's your dad? He, he's still over there. He gave when he came. When he came, he he said about another six or seven minutes we had to go because. He wasn't going to up be uploading the video until then. He can't okay. upload and stream at the same time. So as soon as he's ready to upload the video, he'll come and wrap things up here. And he obviously saw how much of a good time we're having. Yeah, well, he he missed my comment about the Verhage goal, the puck hug. <laughs> I thought he, I thought we had seen that. I I know I had. I thought I had seen that. TK says, do you ever see the Miami Matadors back nope, at the Miami? Nope, never Matadors? even heard of them. <laughs> hmm. uh, do I see Luongo ever coaching? Uh, yeah, I, I could see him being a coach. I don't know if it's going to happen. I think he's comfortable in his role that he fills now, which is kind of sort of like he runs the goalies. You know, he's not the goalie coach, but he, he kind of is in charge of, like, the whole goalie system. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much where he fits, right? I mean, it's like, it, you might as well ask Dan Marino about coaching the Miami Dolphins. I think Dan Marino is is pretty good right now with, with the position he's got. That's... That, that's my analogy anyways. Speaking of them, Stu, I'm not sure. Are you a Dolphins fan? or No. No. No, not into football. That's not right. really into basketball. I'm hockey, man. Yeah. Just, you know, if there's a choice of seeing the Miami Dolphins on TV and, and, and the Bruins and the um, Hurricanes, I'm watching the hockey game. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've been, I've been watching hockey for about ten years now. I remember the series against the playoff series against the Devils, and I believe it was that same year where I went to my one and only Panthers game. Stu, you might or might not remember this game. It would have taken place in December before Christmas. It was a game against the Carolina Hurricanes where we won 3-2 in overtime. And that was that was the one and only hockey game I've ever been to. And that was at what's now known as Florida Live Arena. All right. Well, yeah, we'll have to get, uh, get to another game. Oh, yeah. boy. TK, man, just... Uh, we're a long ways away from a parade, bro. <laughs> uh, Let's make the playoffs this year. <laughs> you can't win the cup unless you make the playoffs. So, uh, anyway, we still got a lot of hockey. Um, yeah, the Marlins. Well, I, um, I did go to the inaugural game. Charlie Huff was pitching. Mm -hmm. And um, I did go to the World Series both times that the Marlins won the championship. Other than that, um, I've been to the new stadium only a couple of times, only because I had to go with my company. Hmm. Um, this was years back. Um, I'm not a baseball fan. Sorry. Yeah, in the, in the past about 25 years or so, the Miami, the Florida slash Miami Marlins have basically been the baseball equivalent of the New York Giants. They pulled two championships out of their butt and haven't done anything since and yeah i i'm not a baseball person either 
or or a basketball person. I I'm just hockey and football, and currently hoping that the Dolphins don't screw things up. But uh, seeing as the Panthers had no real pulse going going into the break, I'm I'm glad to see them come out the gate swinging after after the Christmas break. I was telling my dad, he was wondering why they looked so great. I said, because they just got off the break. And he said, well, everyone just got off the break. But I said, the Panthers have been the team doing all the grinding and dump, dump and chase. So we really needed the break. All right, yep. guys. Here's, yep. here's Dad. Okay. Here you right, go. Yep. Yeah, Dustin, have a good night, buddy. All right, yeah, guys. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Thanks, Stu. We'll 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 chat tomorrow morning, obviously. And for everybody else, appreciate everybody coming out. Big fat two points. Absolutely had to absolutely had to have it. And uh all right, I'm gonna go upload the recap. Yeah, yeah can't guys. wait to, can't wait to watch that. What I was telling everybody, Eric, and I don't know if you heard it before you cut us off here. Verhage, man, I don't understand the guy. He's got a two-on-one with Barkov. He's got three goals. All he's got to do is dish it over to him. But no, the puck hunk's got to keep the puck and score the goal. What a great, what a great goal! And I'll end it with that. <laughs> all right, oh, all right, buddy. I'll see. You I, I knew you'd love that one. Yeah, yeah. Eight thirty, by the way. All right, I'll, I'll be away. See you tomorrow. All right, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good Thanks night. for coming. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. Rosado, I haven't been ignoring you. This is the first time I've seen you on the stream all night. <laughs> when did Rosado come on? He's been on almost all night. I haven't seen I This is the only the first time I haven't seen him all night. Okay. Honestly, I haven't. All right, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Yep.